going to be a more uh this is going to be a more frequent thing on my channel because i'm always editing and working on other shit so i don't really have time to do reactions i used to have so much time to do them <laughs> i used to those used to be my main draw on my channel and then i was oh well, i want to do movies and shit too and then you know that shit like that oh that shit just it didn't go they didn't go together <laughs> i couldn't do both at the same time so yeah, live reactions might be the way to go. I, th I think I might, like, um, edit and release an official reaction one of these days because I did script one and I just haven't gotten around to editing it. So, I think I will do something with that. But I'm gonna let y'all get tucked in. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I found this video. Uh, y'all remember a few years ago <laughs> where this thing called digital blackface started to pop up? It was started by, uh, what was it? The fucking BBC News. <laughs> like, and, I, and I made fun of it. I made like a little edit of it. It's on my channel somewhere. You'll find it. And like, I thought that was, when people roasted it, I thought that was the end of it. No one mentioned it again. Everyone collectively thought, okay, this this is stupid, and let's move the fuck on. And now, like, cut to, like, I don't know, like three or four years later, I can't remember when the hell that shit came out. And now people are are drudging this shit up again. <laughs> why? And taking, and taking it dead fucking seriously. But I think we all know why. Because these little deadhead kids, they got a little older, and they're basically just repeating... The same social justice warrior, uh, you know, just repeating the same social justice warrior talking points that were popular a few just a few years ago. They were too young to be this full of themselves until they got a little older, went to college, and then like, oh yeah, now I. <laughs> so that, I think that's what's going on now. Like you go on TikTok and it's like nonstop the same fucking 2015 ass social justice warrior bullshit that you've seen. Oh, And people ask, why Why you still do social justice warrior videos? Because the shit keeps fucking coming up. I still, we, still, we still have a war to fight. <laughs> Mikey Gussler, $5 super chat. Did you see the uh, uh, hashtag make the Batfleck movie it was trending on Twitter with hundreds of thousands of tweets? Will the Snyder verse be, re re be restored? I don't think so. The WB, they're, they're just too damn dumb. There's a way they could do it smart. And, but they're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. They could use the Flashpoint movie to, like, you know, change a few things. Make an excuse like, make an excuse to change a few things to the plot. You know, you know, spruce it up a bit. But they're not going to do it because they're fucking idiots. Tom Finton, $2 Super Chat. Looking extra thick and ready to rock. Good luck, channel. Thank you. Yeah, but anyway, like, like TikTok and um, and parts of YouTube, like, they're, they're bringing back this old shit. It reminds me of a a, a fucking mon a, a, like a Ving Rhames monologue from Baby Boy <laughs> when he was talking about how young people just keep repeating the same old shit over and over again. Yeah, y'all think y'all know some shit, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm starting to feel like Ving Rhames. For baby boy now. I'm just like, oh god, you young niggas. You get on my fucking nerves. <laughs> Jesus. But anyway, yeah, digital blackface. That's the concept of uh, white people using uh, like gifts and emojis of like brown people or black people. 
Yeah, that's it sounds stupid, right? It's really fucking stupid. Well, somebody made a fucking forty minute video on it <laughs> for some reason. Psionic laser or laser? I could be pronouncing that wrong. Two dollars super chat. Hey there. Oh god, it's one of those motherfuckers again. Ugh, I don't know why you could insist on doing this like and giving out money. Uh, Mr. N, $5 Super Chat, just saw half of this video, it's Riley Dennis all over again, oh, oh god, I really don't need that in my life. <laughs> Iman, 5 pounds Super Chat, yo, have you seen the Zack Snyder, a world based on, Sp uh, Z Zack Snyder, a world based on spite video, as far as pr overproduced video essays that fails to make a point, this is the worst, eh, who knows, I'll probably check that out, but anyway, anyway, anyway. Yeah, let's get to this. Basically, yeah, white people, how dare you use gifts of black people? <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> That's the whole premise of this video that we're about to see by Khadija. Uh, Mumba. Like, the first name is real, but the second name I'm having trouble with. It might be fake, <laughs> for, for all we know. It could, could Because there was a time... Where woke people, like, they would make make up African names to sound more pro-black. <laughs> and the comedy the comedy world, like, skit shows, you know, sketch shows, they used to make fun of that shit. So, I don't know. This could be what, this could be that. Could be a fake name. Could be a fake last name. We don't know. Claudia C, 99, super, uh, 99 cent super chat. Oh, it's a piece of cake. Thank you. All right, let's get to this. This is going to be a long one. It's 40, 40 minutes. Just to say, you know, use black gifts. <laughs> um. Oh my god, pause, you asshole. I also, I hate this fucking thing YouTubers do, this smug shit. Where they open the video with either a glass of wine or like a mug of sh something. <laughs> so, God, unless you're doing it ironically, please don't do that. That is so fucking annoying. <laughs> oh, it, it's just like those YouTubers who will like start a video doing their nails and shit or putting makeup on. It's like, motherfucker, you're a YouTuber. You are not above talking to people on camera. <laughs> Fireheart, $2 super chat. When did the fart guy first come on your channel? I have no idea. It's been so long that I don't even remember. Dear Lord. But yeah, that's the, that's the smuggest shit. Like, don't do that. I'm, I'm waiting for a YouTuber to, to come on camera with a goddamn pipe. A pipe and a, a smoking jacket and some slippers. Like, motherfucker, what are you doing? Uh, anyway, anyway. Yeah, that was, that was, that was needed. I'm so annoyed by white folks using black gifts. <laughs> did you, did you pick up on, did you pick up on that? <laughs> Actually, you know what? I gotta take a brief intermission because I gotta, I gotta do something right quick. Evil Hero Diamond Cat, $5 Super Chat. Hey, baby girl, did you watch Mahler's Snyder first video? I thought that he was mostly being contrarian. I haven't seen it for that reason, uh, alone. <laughs> But yeah, I haven't seen it. Like, eh, uh, yeah, I think I might spare myself that one. I love the Snyder. I love uh, the Snyder cut, and that's all that matters. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna t I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna take a brief intermission for a minute. And yeah, y'all know what it is. I'm about to put on the Henry Cavill gif.
we all do it. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Officially. And if you saw Henry disappears because I was trying to restart my browser, I needed to because my browser was acting a little slow. Fucking video wasn't pausing as fast as I wanted wanted it to. So, all right, I'm officially back. I think I got some super chats while I was gone. So let's take a look at it. Okay. Okay, okay. Mr. N, file the super chat. All of what's to come will make your face bleed and then some. Also, Khadija's. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Also, distorting evidence with a communist mindset. It's crazy. Oh, Jesus. Sarah directs $5 super chat. Uh, hey, I absolutely love your content. I would love to see your thoughts on a video of a guy comparing black vine stereotypes to blackface. Oh, God. <laughs> Mike, uh, whoosh, I almost said Mike. Anthony Scioli, $2 Super Chat. I'm donating to, I'm donating to make up for that one dude. Stay cool. Thank you, Mr. Scioli. The, the super, the super Lexus, uh, $10 Super Chat. First live stream I'm catching live. Anyway, this is some, this is, this is someone trying to bring back digital blackface again. This will be quite... The NOC tonight, lads. What's well, that? It's not really NOC tonight. This is like, uh, like a live reaction, like just one video. Um, when when it when it's NOC, you're like you'll know. Ugh. <laughs> I think the next one will be about uh, uh, TikTok again. But I see a lot of cringy TikToks, but like they're all a like an assortment of cringe. And it's like how am I like how am I supposed to find this shit? I, I need to, I need to insert a specific tag for embarrassing shit. Anyway, this will be quite the MC tonight, lads. Please enjoy my schmeckles. Love your vids. Thank you, the superplex, the super, le the superlexes. Hey. All right, all right. Let's get to this shit. Let's. let's. Is her shit that pixelated, or does? It's on 720p. So I'm guessing that's me. Hang on a second. Put it on 1080p for a second. Because I I, 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 I don't think it should be that pixelated. Oh, shit. Albatross, $5 super chat, five bucks because I like because uh, I like it and your content. Thank you. Meg Gillespie, $5 super chat. You are absol the absolute best reviewer. Love your opinions. Thank you, Meg. Frank Inferter, $5 Super Chat, Digital Blackface, Puff Sig. I haven't heard that in a long time. <laughs> okay, see, it's not it's not loading like I would want it to, so let's go back to 720p. Ugh. Oh, yeah, see, that was me. That was, yeah, 720p is shit now. <laughs> it used to be, remember that used to be like the preferred resolution, and now it's just like... <laughs> Jason Stevens... Uh, 25 HK. Uh, only the finest assortment of cringe for Jay Longbones. <laughs> okay, now it's back to being... See, it's on 720p. Yeah, whatever, whatever. It's whatever. But yeah, Digital Blackface by Khadija Mumbao. Ah, guess who's black in the house? Ah, 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 ah. I guess who needs a new mic? Ah. You can hear all the static. Well, actually, that can be fixed by a simple noise reduction on Audacity. Audacity, which is a free, uh, a, a free piece of software. So uh, you know, just wanna want you to keep that in mind. But like, her mic is shit too because you can hear like this electrical whizzing in the background. Ugh. Nathan Pattinson, one eighty nine super chat. JL, you bring a lot of humor to all of us. Thank you. <laughs> I know, I've got a minute, I know. I'm gonna be on a way more consistent schedule now. Depression is a mother. <laughs> is anyone surprised? 
I'm so depressed. I wonder why. Maybe it's because I spend 40 minutes harping on about how white people shouldn't use GIFs of, and emojis of black people. Maybe could, maybe I'm making myself miserable. I don't know. Could, could y'all, do y'all think that could be it? Uh, Mr. N, $5 Super Jack, guess what's white in the room? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Depression is a mother. Eh. October, November were real hard for me and I still managed to put out a 40 minute vid. It wasn't 40 minutes, but it was almost. But anyway, right, I should do my intro. <laughs> Hi and welcome slash welcome back to my channel. My name is Khadija, your favorite internet play auntie or just a internet play auntie. Hello to all my returning nieces. How are you going to be a play auntie when you're only like college age? Because <laughs> like if, if you're college age and you're auntie, you got, then you have nieces and nephews that are like five years old. <laughs> So yeah, no surprise, no surprise here that your fans are probably that young. Uh, B Queen, five dollars super chat. Hey, been following you for like two years now. I love your stuff. What's your opinion on the topic of colorism? Again, love you, girl. I mean, it's just fucking, just another form of fucking racism. <laughs> and it's just one of those things that people like, yeah, try to just try to pile on. Like it's just racism. It's just another form of fucking racism. I don't know why. We got, oh, it's colorism. Like, I don't know why we have to put another name on it. Winter fire, $2 super jet. This, ca this count, uh, this count with gifts of black, uh, voice chars characters. This, this count with gifts of black voice chars. God, I'm so confused by this super chat, but thank you nonetheless. Oh, <laughs> we're only like. Nephews and nephews and nibblings. If you're new, feel free to check out the vibe, suss out the vibe, whatever I usually say. Take a look around. I sit on my. Well, knowing that you have a uh, consistent depression and you uh, upload very sporadically, I don't think I want to subscribe. To be honest, Joe, many memes. Five dollars super chat. I'm in. I'm an Alabama giffer, and I want to be free. Hail to the <laughs> NAACP. Thank you floor talk about whatever i want usually it's like commentary videos but also video essays those seem to be the things that i oh no video essays no <laughs> so i don't have a fancy fancy intro for y'all because this video was a lot of research so i'm just gonna say that we research. should just get into this needless needless fucking research i'm sure as we'll as we'll get we will see in a minute because it like you, you're thinking about this simple shit way too much, honestly. Why well, the search to know to, to like figure out oh white people should be using gifts to black people, even though that's not that that's not a thing. White people, there's nothing wrong with them using gifts to black people. I don't understand the problem, but whatever. This is going to be a video essay on digital blackface. I was introduced to this term a few months back, and when I first heard it, I was really excited. <laughs> My depression went went bye bye. <laughs> I get to talk about withering shit. I I need to talk. I need, I get to make something about race, and with that, my depression go bye bye. <laughs> oh god and then i started doing research for it and i was like Khadija, you're making the biggest mistake of your life <laughs> correct and please don't oh please don't sully the good name of oh god damn it the chat was not showing please don't sully the good name of living single i love that show that's the show damn but either way, the excitement outweighed the <sighs> So, we're gonna talk about blackface minstrelsy, how it's evolved in Canada and the US, cause Canada y'all ain't slick, y'all be out, y'all were out here, okay? I'm coming for your memes, your reaction gifts, stan Twitter language, I'm coming for all of it, okay? But I- Oh Jesus. <laughs> I bet she thinks she has an original personality. <laughs> I'm unique amongst all the rats of YouTube. I just want to say <laughs> that when I'm doing these video essays or coming for anyone, I'm simply just trying to give you a perspective that maybe you haven't considered and just- We've considered it three or four years ago and then we were done because it was fucking ridiculous. 
It didn't make any sense. It was made up by a fucking corporation made by, created by white people. <laughs> you are following the lead of woke, ignorant, corporate white people. <laughs> you fucking brainwashed trog. <laughs> and you don't even know it. That's what's, that's what's hilarious about this. You don't even fucking know it. All right, anyway, Mr. Hen, <laughs> five dollars super chat. Caddy's whole video is a minstrel gif, just waiting to happen. Way to go, supporting digital blackface. Wah! <laughs> Meta. Okay, I don't know what the rest of that means, but <laughs> thank you, Mr. N. Uh, Goat art bazaar, five dollars super chat. At this moment, should I even put black characters in my novel? I'm sure that's blackface now too. Is that the end goal? No black representation. Hey, might be like hey. Can't risk it. Just make an informative video that's fun and educational for all. And if it don't apply, let it fly. Digital blackface. Digital blackface. Yeah, see, that was something. That's the video I'm talking about. That BBC video. Digital blackface. Digital. That I did an edit of this fuck. This is when it first sprang up. This whole thing from BBC. Fucking a bunch of fucking whiteies. <laughs> A bunch of bastard Caucasians. That's what BBC stands for. <laughs> bunch of bastard Caucasians. <laughs> and you've fallen right into this shit. It's hilarious. She probably think this is the blackest thing she has ever done. When th really this was, like I said, this was created by corporate white people. Blackface. Digital blackface. Digital blackface. So the term digital blackface originated from American journalist Adam Clayton Powell the third. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> That's a name, Adam Clayton Powell the third. I can't, Adam Clayton Powell the third. Mm. He coined the term. Yeah, that wasn't funny. I don't know, what, what the hell was that? <laughs> term back in 1999, and it was actually called high tech blackface, and that was to refer to stereotyping in video games. But feminist writer, Lauren Michelle Jackson came along and did what black girls do. She tweaked it up and popularized the term in her 2017 op-ed for Teen Vogue titled, we need to talk. So this originated from a white man and you don't find anything unusual about that. <laughs> Nothing unusual about, about digital that. blackface and reaction gifts. So according to Jackson. Hang on, when was this? 2017. Yeah, that's exactly when this shit sprouted up. Exactly when. Like, I want to fucking find that. Just a brief intermission. I want to find that goddamn video. Uh, shit. Got it like this. You idiot. I want to find that goddamn video. When did that, when did that sprout up? And I, cause I want to compare it to, uh, the year that article was put out. And I'm typing with one hand. This sucks. <laughs> Three years ago. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Even, oh God, even Ethan Klein went after it. Today, he would have fucking agreed with it and made a whole Twitter thread. All right. This article came out 13 days before this video was released. But it doesn't fucking change anything that this originated from a fucking white per <clears throat> from a fucking white person. Winter Fire, $5 Super Chat. You missed my $5 Super Chat. Also, I guess, by Woke Logic or GIFs are also off limits. <laughs> true, true, because, you know, orcs are basically Negroes. And we all know that. Reaper Sama, $5 Super Chat. I sent my niece to bed early tonight for this live stream. Been watching you for a couple years now, and you never disappoint. Thank you. Oh, L uh, LTRT, $5 Super Chat. If I ever make reviews on media, I will paint myself green and add the black face and post. What's her name? So I, I missed her $5 Super Chat, but uh, did I? Well, I will go back and find it later. But yeah, this came out August 15, 2017, and that article came out August 2nd, 2017. But it's, it remains, but like my, my, my original point stands. It was originated by, by a fucking white person. 
And what the hell would they understand about this shit? And plus, I would rather go a little bit deeper into what that guy, what this dude's research was. Because just because you say, well, this person did this, doesn't really mean anything. Because half the time, these motherfuckers who make these videos don't even understand what they're talking about. I, you know, I, I can't tell you how many times someone's linked me some a fucking linked me uh, uh, an article online, and they did not read that shit. <laughs> Because there'll be a fucking whole paragraph that debunks everything they, they're they trying to tell me. And everything, like, this, see, this is proof of my point, but then there's a whole fucking paragraph that debunks their point. Like, it, <laughs> it happens all the time. Mr. N follows Super Chat, of course, Tortilla Neck, Ethan Klein would follow communism. What the hell's wrong with that whale? <laughs> Yeah, like Ethan Klein actually went after the digital blackface video, but like I said, today he'd probably be fine with it. <laughs> oh, LA had done fucking rotted my man's brain out. God damn it. We need to talk about digital blackface and reaction gifts. So, according to Jackson, Digital blackface is a practice of white and non-black people making anonymous claims to a black identity through contemporary non-black people. Like what kind of non-black people? Because if we're talking about like hood mentality and hood culture, hip hop culture, uh, Latinos belong in there too. Latinos and Asians at, at times, <laughs> they belong in that fucking category of okay to do that. Okay to use like a, uh, uh, Afri African American uh, vernacular and all that shit, like they're in there. So when you say non-black people, who the fuck you talking about? Southeast Asian people, like the the ones who are not known for being hood, like Southeast Asian people, um, Hawaiians, like who the fuck you talking about? Because there are plenty of Latinos who are in the hip hop culture, who are in the hood culture, who follow that, who fit into that shit. So who, who are you talking about? Three technological mediums. And like, not to say the white people aren't in that either. Cause they are as well. But I'm saying like, I'm focused on like the non-black part right now. Like what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> like it's so fucking, it's so um, passive aggressive, like non-black people, like other, like, like black people are the only people of color who fucking exist. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, fuck Asians, fuck Southeast Asians, fuck Native Americans, Indians, and shit. Fuck them. Can be used to describe the various types of minstrel performance that's become available in the cyberspace. Jackson uses reaction gifts as a primary focus for her article. And in a paper by Aaron Wong, an undergraduate from Berkeley, the kids are all right. Her paper. Just because you went to college doesn't make you smart. Clearly, <laughs> clearly, if this is what you are focused on, if this is what your brain cells are <laughs> have been, if this is what your brain cells are attached to. It's like college ain't that great. <laughs> if this is what's coming out, uh, if this is what's coming out of them. This shit. Paper titled Digital Blackface, How 21st Century Internet Language Reinforces Racism. She cites GIFs, <laughs> memes, and keyboard stickers. Wait, what? Reinforces racism. She cites GIFs, memes. Uh, is that supposed to be a black person? <laughs> it's a xenomorph. How, like, did you interpret that as a black person? I think that's more your problem, sister, than anyone else's. What? <laughs> What the fuck? Anyway. Memes and keyboard stickers as the most prominent displays of digital blackface. But I, like, I thought, like, this is stupid. Like, if she's just showing GIFs and memes and shit as an example, they're like, this is a GIF and this is a meme. and this is it. That's not, like, you should stick to things that um, fit the subject matter. Don't just show anything, because now I'm thinking, like, what? You think a xenomorph is a black person? The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> The fuck is wrong with you, girl? Nice. I say all of those are accurate. I mean, look at your most used GIFs or memes and see how many of them feature black people. 
especially black women and black femme queer men. Okay. So what's your point? What's, what's, what's your point, girl? If anything, this is indicative of black people being popular and being like, we're so charismatic that we can be used as a gift, like we, that our two to three second expressions can be immortalized and used on the internet to express like, to express like a, a general emotion. This is a, this is complimentary. This is not racism. El Presidente DMCs, $5 Super Chat. Here's a paper by a guy that has six credit hours and a course that won't guarantee him a job. He's clearly an expert. <laughs> yeah, it's funny that. Uh, LTRT, $5 Super Chat. I'm not racist, but when I see orcs, I mean xenomorphs, I can't help but think of black people. <laughs> um, Yeah, I dare y'all to like just use nothing, use nothing but black and brown fucking emojis for this stream like <laughs> let's make it let's make it happen baby especially if you're not black <laughs> mr n five dollar super chat i'm getting soy boy flashbacks from extra credits yeah ronnie simone five dollar super chat hey jay just wanted to thank you for your awesome content and tell you to keep it up you're my favorite youtuber thank you thank you pookie t goes two dollars 2.99 super chat xenomorphs are now uh a fucking black coated <laughs> Oh, you had to put the chicken in the watermelon <laughs> emoji. Oh, oh, that's just, you're just so mean. You guys are mean. <laughs> no, Mr. Ninja Burger, this video is shit. I concur. It's already shit. It's like, it's like some of these woke black folks are just so fucking insecure about being black. They just don't get the fact that we have become so, our, that our, Property like our media properties and like our personalities and have been become so mainstream that people see that as the standard for general coolness. You know what I'm saying? Like they just don't fucking get it. It's like no, people are trying to steal it. People are trying to make fun of us. It's blackface. You know what the fuck it is, you moron. Oh my god, you your head is so far up your own ass. Winter fire two dollars super chat. Wokies are not getting mad at the office. I swear. They got nothing else to do. It's it's the COVID, man. It's this lockdown. Yes, fill up, fill up the chats with your black emojis. Do it. <laughs> rise, rise. Anyway, like they don't. We we are this like and plus we this is mostly like American cult like from Amer like these are usually gifts from America, American television, American media. Like yeah, our if you, we are, if you are black and from America and you make a difference in popular culture, then that's part of American culture. You are part of American mainstream culture. So therefore other Americans are going to see that and also spread it around the rest of the fucking country. Like and make and pop and help popularize it because it's popular in America. It's like, it's not fucking rocket science. Meg Gillespie, $2 super chat. Why can't we, why can't it be we're celebrating diversity? Because no, we can't. She is a depressive personality. She cannot be happy. That's what, the, she just, that's what's hilarious. She admitted in the beginning of her fucking video that she's, that she's, um, that she's uh like fucking depressed. Like that's, it's, it's a fucking normal, it's normal for her to be depressed every now and then. So she's a depressive personality. So she takes something that's fucking inoff inoffensive and finds the negative in it because it's just, oh my God. It's just like that fucking scene from Closer when Clive Owen said, she doesn't want to be happy. She's a depressive, a depressive, uh, um, oh my God. They want to be unhappy to prove their depression. If they're, if, uh, oh my God, they want to be unhappy to prove they're depressed. If they, they're not, they, like, oh my God, if they're not, if they're happy, they can't be depressed anymore. They would have to go out in the world and live, which can be depressing. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta find that quote because I still have the movie on file somewhere. I'm going to find it. I swear. Whiskey potato, $50 super chat. Oh shit. Cheers. Uh, and I love how like the color contrast, it has like the watermelon color contrast. <laughs> anyway 
$50 super chat. Uh, cheers to the least annoying black woman online paid for by Ora Iraqi oil money. <laughs> thank you, whiskey potato. Like, big thank you. Um, Himan, two pound super chat. How to reverse MJ on these emojis. <laughs> Wait, how to do reverse MJ on these emojis. Oh, okay. Jesus. <laughs> Y'all retreat is going nuts in the chat tonight. But anyway, yeah, it, she's a depressive. That's what the problem is. A lot of these motherfuckers, a lot of these SJW types, they're chronically fucking depressed. And like it's it's like and it's like uh, it's like a cycle. Like they're depressed. They're already depressed. So and they find things like the, like the news is already depressing. Like they get the news, and they're told like racism is everywhere. There people, people aren't wearing masks and, and during the COVID and like, it's, it's, it, it's it continually depresses them. And like, it's a cycle of fucking depression. So now like she has to like, to continue the cycle of depression, she has to find negative shit in something inoffensive to keep the shit going. Mecca boo, $10 super chat. It's like, she has to be depressed to be happy almost. Like it's, it's that fucked up. <laughs> like I'm not a doctor, <laughs> but, but I, every single fucking time, every SJ, that rabid SJW, go on their fucking Twitter. They're always talking about fucking being depressed. Every single goddamn time. Mecca boo, look, anyway, Mecca boo, $10 super chat. I just wanted to join the super chat train. Oh, well, thank you. Oh Lord, it's all just piling up. I love it. I fucking love this shit. Anyway, let's get back to this. This depressing shit. <laughs> Was that syntax weird? Queer, femme, black men. I feel like I did that. For it's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. For the purposes of this video essay, however, I'm also gonna throw in Stan Twitter language and the you sorry, incorrect use of AAVE on the internet. Because I think those things as well as reaction gifts and memes contribute to the stereotyping, further racializing, and commodification of blackness. God, you are so fucking miserable. Oh my god. Can you, you hear this shit? Uh, Mia, J8, uh, oh my god, J8K3G, final super chat. I've watched this video in full. I think you'll find some interesting bits in the end. It's not ex the exact same as what you think. Uh, shark jumping walrus, one dollar super chat. I think this is exact. Like these videos are usually exactly what I think they are. <laughs> Coming for you. My God, do you still do that? Like some YouTubers, like they'll do like the baby voice, like uh, the um, um, the chipmunk voice for, at random. Uh, uh, excuse me. No other fucking like really real creativity in it. They just put, oh look, isn't this funny? I have a chipmunk voice. Like no, we w that's been out. What are you fucking Fred? <laughs> that was like nearly twenty years ago. <laughs> Stop it. But listen, you know she loves an origin story, so let's talk about where all this started. No, not there. Even further back. Would you like to go to work? Sure, who knows? I might get demonetized for this. El Presidente DMCs. Final super chat. Speaking of stereotypes, why do all these? Ugh, why do all these ridiculous moral inquisitors have uh, septum piercings? <laughs> I have no idea. Like I said, it's about. Like, I think it's more about expressing uniqueness when it's not really unique at all. Because these exact same people and like a lot of young people have the same shit they do. For me, yeah, ma'am. How much you gonna pay me? I hope. Well, let's see now. Mm -hmm. I'll pay you all your work. No, ma'am. I got to have some money. Now, for those of you that are unfamiliar with blackface, it's yeah, that's horrible. But how how is like using a gif of some of a real black person making fun of all black people? Like, cause blackface is like meant to. uh like dehumanize and mock black blackness, like black people, like the whole fucking race. But using one gif of a famous black person, are you saying that black person is like setting black people back 50 years? Because like they're using gifs of real black people making real, <clears throat> real black, ex 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 real expressions of black people. 
but like how like because blackface is a caricature but like white people or like non-black people who use black gifts and emo like who use black gifts like that's of a real black person though like so what the fuck are you trying to say <laughs> Winter fight. Like, this is kind of insulting to black people. Like, or at least the black people in the, <coughs> who are the subject of those gifts. Winter fire, $2 super chat. Did you see pronoun police go for Sarah Paulson? Uh, I have no idea what the hell that is. Oh, pronoun police. Oh, the, you mean generally like, okay. On Twitter or some shit. Um, I haven't seen that. Yeah, but that's what happens when you pander to these fucking people. Icky Manta Ray. Iki Manta Ray, $50 super chat, another $50 super chat, hello. Hey Jay, I just want to say you hit the nail on the head with that what you said about depression personality thing. I say that as a guy who used to have that mentality. Oh shit, glad you got out of that. And thank you for the super chat. But yeah, yeah, it's it's just perpetual state of depression. <laughs> just that's, what, that's all it is. It's not even like, I wouldn't even call it like real depression. Like when you read negative shit and have just like a negative attitude all the time, of course it's going to manifest into, into something that feels like depression. Like, I'm not on that Paul Joseph Watson bullshit where uh, he says depression doesn't exist because he's a fucking retard in that, in that respect. But, um, now, like, there's some people who are faking this shit. There's some people who are fucking faking it or just they're so entrenched in negativity that they can't help but, like, like yeah, of course they're gonna feel miserable all the goddamn time. But they think this is like a clinical thing. Is it's really like, yeah, you're just fucking miserable because this is what who you are. Brad uh, Burleson, uh, two dollars super chat. Gay. <laughs> I concur. It's quite gay. It's a performance style that originated in Europe within their theatrical productions, specifically in plays like Othello. Farewell, the plumed troops and the big wars. That yeah, see, like that, that's one instance where I wouldn't call it blackface. Because it wasn't like he, that was that wasn't a caricature. Like they needed a black guy. <laughs> like Othello was supposed to be played by a black guy. And they just wanted, like they wanted, I think they, I think, I forgot the fucking particulars, but my looking at it, like if you, like, okay, I want a black guy, but I also want, I forgot what actor this was, but it was a famous fucking actor. Like a really, uh, a-list fucking actor at the time. But like, I want this A-list actor, but I also want a black guy to play this role. So they were just like, you know what, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Because it's not like he's like, oh yeah, yes ma'am. Like he's got the fucking, like the, like the lip makeup and shit. It's not like that. Like he looks like a convinced, could be a convincing black dude if like, if you, you know, put a little more work into the makeup. But I wouldn't exactly call this thing. Like it's still kind of fucked up, but it's, I wouldn't call it like, Putting this in the same category as that what that blackface shit we just saw? Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. That make ambition virtue. There's no exact pinpoint of the first ever person to put on blackface, but according to the historians, it was a centuries old tradition in Europe. Blackface made its way to the States in the 19th. Oh my god, fix your goddamn focus or sit closer to your camera. Oh my god! <laughs> motherfuckers be out of focus in century oh. when european immigrants brought the genre over but it was popularized which you know I, I guess it fits the tone of the video because her her uh like her sub the subject matter and how it's presented like everything is just blurry about this video <laughs> by td rice aka the father of minstrelsy so according to npr's 1619 podcast <laughs> The blurriness will go away soon. I'm sorry, y'all. She's lying, though. It won't. The story goes that- <laughs> At least not, uh, at least not with the camera. At around the 1830s, TD- I mean, at least not with the sub- Oh my God. At least not with the subject matter. The camera will be fine. Rice was an anonymous nobody actor. Their words, not mine, but also mine. Kim, he made it, he, he, Kim. Okay, Kim. He was touring the country with a troupe of actors and happened upon an old black man cleaning a horse on the property of a white man named Crow. Now, something you should know, and I think I've mentioned this in a previous video, is that up until this point, Americans didn't have an art form that was distinctly theirs. Things like opera buffa, opera seria. Uh, Menchman? Oh, excuse me. 399 Super Chat, the actor was Lawrence Olivier. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I knew it was Lawrence something. Damn it. 
the French Grand Opera getting its rise in the 1820s, and the plays of Shakespeare and other famous European writers were just that. They were all in Europe. So, Rice, allegedly. Here's what this man is singing and sees an opportunity. So he goes back to the theater, melts some cork, rubs it on his face, painting it black, and he performs this song that he heard from the old black horse groomer. He gives the song lyrics and names himself Jim. Oh, uh, bra uh, Brady Pearl of Burleson, $3 Super Chat. What's so bad about putting paint on your face? I mean, well, like, yeah, like I said, with the Lawrence Olivier thing, it was like, eh, I'm not sure if that was blackface, but like, definitely that, uh, the dude who was clearly just like, just doing the whole blackface shtick, doing the minstrel show sh uh, shtick, that, that was clearly, that was clearly like some racist shit, but like, yeah, the Lawrence Olivier thing, and that's a gray area. JJ, uh, 1818, $5 super chat, if you think... If you think a gif of an actual black person acting black is equivalent to a caricature, then your problem is with black culture. And you, uh... Okay, I think it cut off there. <laughs> I think it cut off there. Oh, Menchman is like, are we literally going back to uh, back to before the Civil War to explain internet gifs? Yes! <laughs> yes! It's so fucking pointless. It's so fucking pointless and does nothing. Because you, like, that's, because we, it's under the assumption that we don't really have generations or we don't, have, like, things don't change. It all kind of just stays the same. Like, yeah, we had blackface then. Now we still have blackface. Yeah, we got still got blackface now. But it's blackface. <laughs> Actual fucking blackface. Not some asshole using a gif. Like, what the fuck? JV199 Super Chat. She just cited 1619 Project like they... Ain't all BS. <laughs> Frankenfurter, five dollars super chat. What the fuck does this old ass story have to do with me using uh, Latrice Royal gifts? Like, uh, you shut your white asses up. You don't know shit, okay? Okay. Like menstrual shows from like the sixteen hundreds or whatever are directly linked to fucking gifts that you made in Giphy, okay? Okay? Jim <laughs> Crow. Wheel about and turn about and do just so. Every time I wheel about, I jump Jim Crow. So in the 1830s, this becomes a bop. Like all the white people are like, Jim Crow, I fucks with the vision, Jim Crow. This is hilarious. This is incredible. This is iconic. We stand blackface minstrel scene. Move on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You have to laugh. This is crazy. What? Uh, anyway, the man gets 20. I mean, I want to laugh, just not at you. <laughs> encores. And thus, an era of racist theatrical performance was born. Now, there are some key elements integral to the success and just overall foundation of blackface minstrelsy that reveal themselves in more nuanced ways in digital blackface. So let's talk about a few. Psych, did y'all think I was gonna talk about blackface and not bring up Canada? Huh, <laughs> y'all funny. So a thing you should know about me is that- Why would we think that? Like there's race, there's instances of blackface and like racism everywhere. Like there's, it's, there was blackface in, uh, like I said, you know, in Indian countries, like, so. Like, there's white face in Asia. I think there's black face, black face in, like, Asian countries, too. You know, like, uh, not China, but, like, Korea? Or is it China? I forgot. But, like, yeah, there's, like, instances of black face or some kind of face everywhere. I think I was gonna talk about Canada. Like, no, we knew, bitch. <laughs> hey, uh, Jenny Baby, uh, $5 super chat. Use black gifts, it's blackface. Don't use your self-hating and non-inclusive. Oof. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, this thing moves too fast. Winter Fire, $2 Super Chat. RDJ and Tropic Thunder never go full retard. <laughs> I said the last half a little quiet. <laughs> And I think I've mentioned this in videos before, but I grew up in the States. I lived there for the first 15 years of my life and then moved to Canada. So I've lived here in Canada for about 12 years. 
Uh, no wonder your <laughs> your brain is half rot because <laughs> you've been <laughs> you've been living in fucking Canada. JJ eighteen eighteen five dollars super chat. YouTube isn't letting me say the R word. That means you dislike other races. <laughs> And a thing that I have noticed is that we have a really hard time acknowledging anti-black racism and just the fact that racism is prevalent here anyway. We I, I, I'll agree with that. A lot of fucking Can Canadians think, oh, America's so trash compared to our country. When your fucking prime minister legit put on blackface and y'all don't give a fuck. <laughs> don't give a single fuck. Oh god! I mean, like, the Canadians and and the British too. Like, goddamn! Like, would y'all stop being smug when y'all got a motherfucker arrested for making a pug do a Nazi salute? Like, y'all ain't shit either. <laughs> we like to think that we're not as bad as the states because it's not as overt here. But you can't really say that because I mean, listen, just ask an indigenous person. Just. Just ask, just ask, you know, and see, see if they feel the same way. Mm. In an article titled The Complicated History of Canadian Blackface, Ryerson's assistant professor at the School of Creative Industries, Cheryl Thompson, spent five years researching this history and letting y'all know just how integral blackface was to Canada's entertainment industry. So how it begins is simply that in the 1840s, touring American circuses came to Canada and brought blackface with them, like the Europeans did a decade earlier. By 1849, when the Royal Lyceum Theatre, is it Lyceum? Lyceum. 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 L-Y-C-E-U-M. When that theater opened in Toronto, it became the primary venue for performances of blackface minstrelsy. So the Lyceum Theater burnt down in 1874, but that just left room for the Grand Opera House and the Royal Opera House to become theaters of record for professional black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When did the gifts come in and the emojis and how they like, you're not telling me anything. You're just telling me the blackface existed. That's it. That's all you're telling me. And that what blackface does, but we all know that. We all know this shit. Who cares? Get to the part where how it contributes to racism. Blackface in the city. But like I said, like mo videos like this that talk about basically nothing, like this is all just padding. Because in any other, like in if this video were honest, it would be like a five minute video. It just it just be a five minute video. This is what blackface is. Blah 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 blah, and then we get to like the real problem of of white people using. Uh, fuck, uh, white or non-black people using uh, gifs and emojis and shit. And that would only take like a couple minutes because it's, like I said, it's nothing. It's a nothing burger. It's a nothing fucking topic. But like I said, this is all just padding to make her look more intelligent than she actually is. Every fucking YouTuber does this shit. It's just, every, every video, video essayist YouTuber does this shit. They just pad the fucking video. You see? I read a book once. <laughs> you can't say I'm stupid now. You can't you can't debunk my shit. Like yeah, no, people can dump, debunk your shit definitely without even a fucking without any effort. At the turn of the 20th century, those American circuses that would come to Canada always made sure to stop in Toronto because Toronto audiences preferred American blackface to British blackface. <laughs> It's y'all city, I just live here. Thompson states that the typical audiences for these shows were the city's Anglo elite, and that since they all sat on the same boards and went to the same schools, blackface became the dominant part of the Anglo elite culture in the city. A distinction Thompson made in this article that I really appreciated was addressing the nuance of white immigrants to Canada donning blackface. She talks about how blackface enabled- Okay, pause a minute. Someone added Mauler, is he here? <laughs> Or they just so or did someone just at Mauler because I mentioned video essays? <laughs> Where are you, you little tea bag? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I guess he's not here. Bam. Immigrants to move from immigrant other to full citizen, and it makes sense. If you're the new kid in town and everyone's shitting on a person, you're gonna participate in shitting on that person as well, just to fit in with everyone else. 
except in this example, it's white folks mocking and ridiculing black folks in such extremes as to fully strip us of our humanity and other white folks who are immigrants to this land joining in to feel more Canadian. And take a look at that. Blackface was so a part of Canadian entertainment. Um, son of the D, uh, 750 isk. Uh, she would, <clears throat> she would be like a deer in the headlights if she ever met a real racist. Also, you missed my previous super chat, but that's okay. Oh, no. Sometimes this shit be coming in quick, but thank you. Entertainment culture that white immigrants felt like they needed to participate in the further dehumanizing of black people to feel Canadian. Just take that in. In the U.S. Uh, yeah, because usually, you know, that's what immigrants uh, were forced to do to, like, assimilate into the culture that they are adopting. Yeah. Think about that for a minute. Like, yeah, bitch, that's how it works with fucking immigrants. When they come, they come here and they try to assimilate, they adopt what's popular here. That's some supposed to be, that's supposed to be some, ah, fuck. Is that supposed to be some kind of big, huge revelation? Yes, a lot of blackface performers were working class Irishmen. In Montreal, for example, their Jewish library contains an extensive collection of photos and playbills from blackface minstrel shows put on by the Young Men's Hebrew Association. As Thompson states, Oh my God, this is so fucking pointless. What, what's the fuck fucking point? Meg Gillespie, two dollars super chat. How is a gift dehumanizing? I'm sure. I'm sure we're gonna get to this. It's gonna be a huge. We're gonna. Our minds are gonna be fucking blown, bitch. At its core, the minstrel show was about. Like, could you fix that? That's. This is. Mm -mm, no, the space is too. <laughs> the space is too big. Fix it. Fix it. Maintaining both a real and imagined line between who belonged and who did not belong to the national identity. These motherfuckers be editing like it's their first time. Like they're doing it with iMovie <laughs> or Windows Media Player. It pisses me off. So these are just a few more photos that I found whilst I was doing my, whilst, <laughs> while I was doing my research for this. And I wanted to actually point out that this man right here, coming up, this one, he is the composer of the Canadian National Anthem. But guess what y'all? Years before he composed the National Anthem, he was out here touring with American minstrelsy troops all over North America. Mmm. Oh, Canada, indeed. I also just want to People were racist in the old days. Got your ass. <laughs> like, no shit! No fucking shit! People were racist. Smugness, the smugness. People were racist. People were racist. People are racist, and people will be racist. Past, present, future tense, bitch. <laughs> Sean Boheen, uh, two, two ninety nine super chat. A shocking discovery. People in the past were mean. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah. People are just people in the chat are saying, "Who cares?" Like, yeah, I know this is just padding. Like, who cares? Like, move on add that it's not like black Canadians were just sitting here thinking yeah this is fine in Toronto when blackface first started popping off it's black citizens would petition the city every year to prohibit these acts but city council would straight up reject their pleas to censor these racist depictions so even you know what I'm fast forwarding to the next chapter because she is talking about nothing nothing <laughs> Mr. N5 Alice Super Chat, I couldn't take this seriously when she disrespected some rando white person while reciting his quote. Yeah. Caitlin Trigg, Fight Alice Super Chat, as a white, I would encourage missile shows of every race by every race, you know, like Hollywood. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. But yeah, yeah, she is boring as shit. I mean, I know this. We all know this. All this shit was basically, oh, racism existed, blackface existed, it was bad. And blackface was de is dehumanizing black people. No shit. <laughs> oh, it feels so good to finally audition for a show for all black writers. Yes. No more thug number one, yeah. drug dealer number two. We got characters with names, backstories, multiple dimensions. Hey, you know what that sounds like, right? Progress. Progress. <laughs> 
What's this character's backstory? He's a drug dealer who's pursuing a rap career, but he's lazy about it. It's super authentic, though. I'll be down to Oak Rock Show kicking and walking with my boy Jamal, and we were like, let's break rob this joint. You know what I'm saying? Pack, 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 pack. <laughs> Goat Art Bazaar, $2 Super Jet. Like, your intro shouldn't be this long. I'm just saying. Goat Art Bazaar, $2 Super Jet. Worrying about gifts is the height of privilege. Correct. <laughs> Now, in order to talk about how digital blackface has made a seamless transition from the minstrel shows of the 19th and 20th century to y'all's favorite NeNe Leaks memes, I said what I said! We need to take a look at the different archetypes found in blackface minstrelsy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage. Our first stereotypical depiction of a black person. Comparable. The <laughs> Comparable. The legendary. The legendary. Jim Crow. I'm sorry, I can't. Good evening, read the room. This is serious. This is serious. Before T.D. Rice decided to change his name and, you know, become the father of minstrelsy, Jim Crow came from the tradition of folk. Oh, we're still on this shit. Winter Flyer, $2 Super Jet. White Chicks is like a white minstrel show. <laughs> yeah, she's still gonna keep talking about this shit. through luck and cleverness. Adopted in the human form, slaves would use Jim Crow as a way to avoid We must internalize the flatulation. ...clothing and mistakenly used big words or puns that undermine... He died when they could learn to read, write, and pay for their own freedom and contribute to society. They're still not human. Zip Coon was what some might call uppity. He dressed in sophisticated clothing and mistakenly used big words or puns that undermined his perceived hang on, hang Victoria on, and Jim Crow. Again, fuck you, Dee Dee Rice. <laughs> uh, I think I missed uh, Mr. N, Final Super, uh, Super Chat. That intro was kind of soon considering DMX fate uh, and how dare she use the queen. Hey, uh, Jenny Baby, $5 Super Chat. She's devoid of anything worthwhile, so she can only cling to her blackness and rage about history that happened before her parents were born. <laughs> Goat Art Bazaar, $5, uh, $5, $2 Super Chat. I hate myself. The video. <laughs> Caitlin Trick, $5 Super Chat. Uh, okay, quick question. If a mulatto did blackface, is it still blackface? Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got the hiccups. Next, we have Zip Coon. This character was first performed by George Dixon in 1834 and basically made fun of free blacks. Even when they can learn to read, write, and pay for their own freedom and contribute to society, they're still not here. Yeah, she's about to use a fucking clip from, uh, from uh, um, In Living Color and I'm like, bitch, are you fucking serious? No, they're making fun, like, because in Living Color, uh, like, sketch shows like In Living Color and Mad TV, they were making fun of woke black people before that, like, the woke, like, before we have, like, before our whole social justice warrior culture now. Wolf Spain, $5 Super Chats. This feels like a knockoff of tokenized, uh, uh, like a knockoff tokenized version of Lindsay Ellis down to the music, comedy, and ego. Yeah. Goat Art Bazaar, $2 Super Chat. What if a goat used black gifts? <laughs> Human. That's a, that's a racist ass goat right Zip there. Zip Coon was what some might call uppity. He dressed in sophisticated clothing and mistakenly used big words or puns that undermined his perceived intelligence. We must internalize the flatulation of the man. This is a whole tip character, but no, this is a fucking character. This is a, this is... And besides, this is a show created by uh, Keenan Ivory Wayans, uh, by the way, a black man making fun of of woke black people like this bitch. <laughs> like there was always those motherfuckers who pretended to be African when they weren't. They would put on kente cloth and shit, give themselves fake ass black, uh, African last names. That's that's what this is making fun of. The fact that you can tie this. 
into that shit. <laughs> it's what? <laughs> and like, and and also demonizing a black man who created his own fucking sketch show. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> this has nothing to do with the other one. They're making fun of free blacks. Uh, no, he's like uh, this is this is a caricature of woke black people. Matter. Because they don't understand what the fuck, like, they try to sound smarter than they are, uh, like you. <laughs> they try to sound smarter than they are, and like, oh, like, oh, we gotta go back to Africa, we are people and shit. Like, that's what the, this is making fun of. The fact you're tying in something from the fucking, what, late 80s to early 90s to a fucking caricature, like some coon shit from, what, like, what was it again? Like the 1800s, whatever, is fucking ridiculous. Goat Art Bazaar, $2 Super Chat. Remember when Boondocks called out people like her? Yeah. <laughs> By transmitting the effervescence of the Indonesian proximity in order to further segregate the... Like, like come on, y'all in chat. Like, y'all been... If any of y'all have been on Twitter and you have <laughs> you fucking... You have come across someone like this. Like... They make like these days they don't really need to put on the African last name and shit. They just need to say a whole bunch of fucking buzzwords and then their job is done. Like this is more of a '90s woke black person, but it, this, the fucking it still applies here. Like this is a woke black person through and through. Just like this bitch and just like remember um like the video just came out with extra credits. Like bioessentialism, like motherfucker, it's just bigotry. <laughs> just say bigotry, motherfucker crux of my venereal infection. You just don't like it because they're making fun of you. That's what this is. Next, we have Mammy. She's wise, she's big, she's fiercely independent, and she doesn't take back talk. She's also- All right, hang on a second. I think I missed a super chat. Uh, oh wait, no, no, no. I already read that one. Okay, oh wait, wait, Wolf Spain, $2 super chat. None of these people will survive. A uh, 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 nigga moment, okay. <laughs> Asexual, I guess, which probably has to do with the fierce independence. See, strong black woman who don't need no man. And now we have Uncle Tom. He's gentle, he's religious, he's sober, he cares more about white folks' well-being than his own people, and he makes rice. That's Uncle Ben. Why do y'all need black people selling you rice? I don't under- okay. Next, we have Buck. No, I'm not talking about- Okay, now Uncle Ben is fucking- is offensive. <laughs> Why do we need black people- Why do we need black people selling us pancakes and syrup? <laughs> Why do we all need black people selling- Like, oh, so they must not be able to sell- They must not- We must not ne be needed to sell anything then. <laughs> Nothing. An adult male deer. I'm talking about a person. He is big loud, menacing, and loves white women. Hey, where are the white women at? Next up is the- Keep in mind that is also a joke from a film, <laughs> from a fucking comedy. Officer Buck to Drussel, $10 super chat. When she, she talks like racism is a universal constant and that racism was always viewed the same from the 16th century to now and people in the 16th century knew what they were doing was bad, but did it anyway. Oh God. Yeah, exactly. That's what Mr. N $5 super chat. Fun fact. Aunt Jemima was actually based off a black activist. Mind you a good one. It's, uh, because of mop heads. Like, <laughs> like Katty, that we lost this icon. Wow. <laughs> <Mop heads. laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's pretty good. <laughs> mop heads. Fuck. The Jezebel or the wedge. She's a temptress. You tell me who you want done, and I'll do the hell out of you. Are you fucking? Don't you dare! Are you trying to shit on? Are you shitting on Pam Greer now? What the fuck? Now she's shitting on Pam Greer, and this this will not fucking stand. <laughs> Sexually voracious, the complete opposite. Because I'm pretty sure those clips are from films where she played a, uh... That's all I remember Pam Greer playing. It's like female detectives and shit. Female, like, cops and shit. I haven't watched, like, I shit. 
The only movie I actually watched her in was the Scream Blackula Scream. So, but I know I might I probably need to get refreshed on those movies. But I'm pretty sure she just wasn't fucking white dudes just be fucking white dudes. I think that was part of her. Like anyone in the chat, if you've ever seen those black exploitation movies with Pam Greer, sound off in the chat and uh and educate me on some shit. Uh, Tabitha Provan, uh, five dollars super chat. Uncle Tom cared about his fellow slaves more than himself, even the ones who hated hurt him. Read a book, damn it. Um, Sid Haig would be pissed, and he and Pam Greer were the best of friends. R.I.P. Fam. Like you're saying, Pam Greer is a fucking black stereo. Pam Greer, Pam Greer's characters are fucking black stereo. What the fuck? <laughs> Goat Art Bazaar, five dollar super chat. No way to portray black people except extra woke. Exactly, of course. <laughs> only way. It's the only way. Because I'm pretty sure those roles that she showed, like Pam Pam Greer, was probably trying to fuck those dudes to get something from them. Because I think those were detective roles. I think I have to go back. Of and watch. a well-mannered Victorian white woman. Winter Fire, five dollar super chat. Watching an old SNL last night with Bill Hader playing Stefan. I realized this would never fly today. Also, new SNL is so choked comedically. Uh, comedically now, yeah, there are people fucking bitching on Black Twitter. Like, uh, there was this skit with um the guy from from Get Out. I forgot his fucking name already. And like, uh, he was basically hosting this black clip show, not a clip show, this black uh, game show. And he would ask a question like the all the questions were are you going to take the vaccine and all and all the guests who were black were had all these like excuses to not take it and then people and people like hours later or right after that black twitter was fucking going nuts talking about how racist it was um i'm excuse me black people we will take the vaccine like stop it wait what the fuck are you talking Black people were, uh, people were like, uh, black, we're not the only ones who wouldn't, wouldn't take the vaccine. I'm like, that's not the fucking issue here. This was clearly written by a, I bet you money. This was written by a black writer who had experience with their, uh, loved ones or friends who were talking about not taking the vaccine for whatever fucking reason. I bet money. But like, oh, that's not accurate. Like they have, like all the times where white people have been throttled, like uh, Trump supporters have been throttled on SNL. Now suddenly they want to talk about people being discriminated on SV on, on SNL. Get the fuck out of here. Scapegoat, $5 super chat. This lady wants everyone to be, uh, to be some cultureless gray blob with no personality or humor. She's the equivalent to a beige t-shirt. <laughs> oh God, uh-oh. John Doe. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Goat Art Bazaar, $5 dollars super chat. Ooh, a little pair. That's a little laughing pair. YouTube has some weird, uh, like, emotes. <laughs> but I appreciate it. John Doe, the average Joe, four ninety nine, dollars super chat. No wonder writers are scared to write strong black characters for personality. They would be accused of negative stereotypes, even if it's positive. Yeah, basically. Meg Gillespie, $5 dollars super chat. Halle Berry's role was offered to Sharon Stone. That's why her name is Sharon Stone. Exactly! Fuck! <laughs> and it's like, she's like, this bitch acting like she's... She's... <laughs> She's tempting Fred because, oh, he's a big, strong white man. Like, no. Why can't fucking black folks just get... This is why... Yeah, like, like someone said in chat, this is why they don't want to make, like, black characters who are just characters. Because they might do something that steps out, like, steps out of line for the woke people. 
and then they'll start criticizing them, and then suddenly they'll be canceled. Frank and Furter, $5 Super Chat, uh, got the Queen Pam Greer. She was trying to find her boyfriend's murderer in Foxy Brown, so she was screwing dudes to get information. Exact, that's exactly what I thought. Damn. <laughs> Thank you, Frank and Furter. Like, God damn, see, what the fuck? <laughs> so that was a blatant fucking lie. She probably just didn't see the movie and just found the clip on YouTube and was like, oh, my job's done. I don't need to watch nothing. Or she did watch the whole movie and then use that clip anyway, which is, like I said, which is just, yeah, you blatantly lied about what that movie is. This one is also interesting because on the stage, it was typically played by a man. And there's a lot to talk about. Masculize, masculizing, that's not a word, but like, you know, men playing black women a lot of times. There's, ooh, there's a lot to talk about there. Ooh, ooh. Now we can. How do gifts and fucking emojis come in? Don't forget about team light skinned. Aisha, it's for you, girl. <laughs> She's a real person. She's a real person. Hi, girl. Hey. <laughs> we gotta talk about the tragic mulatta. She could possibly pass for white, but only had a desire to get ahead and be with a white man. The only way she could be redeemed, by listening. I wonder what lame, what fucking clip she's gonna take out of context this time. To the one drop rule and accepting the fact that her ass was black and therefore not human. And then we have the Piccaninny slash Sambo. The Piccaninny is a stock child character that's most associated with blackface. She has wild unkempt hair, red lips, and is always eating watermelon. Sambo doesn't really fit into that, but kind of. I wanted to bring up all of these stereotypes before diving all the way into their evolution as digital All right, now we on. I'm just skipping this because now, now we get into the real shit. Like, you wasted fucking 17 minutes. <laughs> it's to say, oh, racism bad. Blackface exists. Blackface bad. <laughs> Part four gives me black folks. Oh my God. She... <laughs> She, she spells it folks. Yay! We're dealing with a very stable person. Black folks. They used to play at Robinson, and Nick would just come in like a little kid and take the ball from him and do some crazy act and leave. If that boy ever take it serious, he'd be great. But he was a clown then. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Oh, look, it's a little image I have on the upper left-hand corner. <laughs> <sighs> the internet. Because we're dealing with code. She spent 17 minutes on nothing just to get to this point. Nothing, shit. How long she spent on this? Then she gets on the black English thing. Oh, God. Codes and screens and not seeing each other face to face, especially this year. We use memes, GIFs, and now TikToks to express our emotions instead of actually feeling our emotions. That's not different from any other time of the fucking year. <laughs> that ain't no, this is not COVID specific. This has always been a thing. Think about it. How many times do you react to someone's message? Oh my God, oh my fucking God, I'm literally dying right now. I'm deceased, I can't stop laughing. And you're literally typing like this. It's okay, we all do it. But when we think about digital blackface, we have to consider the racial implications of offloading our emotions onto memes or gifts. White people and non black We don't really. Black folks <laughs> using black gifts. That's just, that's just you because you're fucking depressive and neurotic. Uh, Goat Art Bazaar, $5 Super Chat. Black women are, were masculized back then. Women like Pam Greer changed that, but woke comic writers do it today. Now that's modern day minstrel shows memes to express their emotions becomes a way of outsourcing their I mean yeah, if you look at um I just fucking did that reading of that um Nubia comic and it's just like like the, the, the fucking lead female character is like this huge chick who's like not kind of non femme like she's just a huge chick who's not really like and then her friend is like stocky and fat. It's like, it's, it's, it, how come those aren't being criticized for having those same stereotypes? And that, ma that masculine, masculinized black females. I can take one fucking guess why. 
emotional labor on black bodies and contributes to what American literary critic Cian Nye calls the animatedness of black folks, AKA seeing black people as hyperbolically emotional and expressive, particularly- but, but the fucking black people in the gifts are actually being emotional and overly expressive. Because usually those gifts come from television and movies where the, where the black folks are acting. The fuck? Particularly black women. Yeah, I'm staring at you. How? And feminine queer black men. Ooh! No, she did not. Sweet baby Jesus! That's how it- Okay, so like, what you're really insulting them then, right? You really don't like- Cause someone in chat said like it's it's not the white people using it you have a problem with it's the you don't like black people who uh, act that way. You're you're humiliated by it and you don't want it to be shown. That's what it is. That's what you're uncomfortable uh, uncomfortable with. You it ain't got nothing to do with white people using it. I think it's just a smoke screen. It's just like um that Harry Kondabalu asshole who tried to get Apu taken off of uh, the Simpsons. He, all this fucking, all this fucking talk about, oh, I don't, I poo, like, they, people just like him because he has an accent and shit. But you, like, got the impression throughout the whole, um, video that he doesn't really like, like, other Indian, like, non-American Indian people that much. He doesn't like, there was a time, there was one part, one segment of that documentary where he was walking around this Indian town. He's like, yeah, we're going to talk to Indian Americans. And he doesn't talk to fucking one, not one. He talks to his parents, but that doesn't fucking count. They're his fucking parents. He's comfortable with them. But like, he was walking around that town with his head down. He couldn't even look up at people. <laughs> he was scared to be in that fucking neighborhood. And you think that, you know, like they do another like cut of that. Make him look, look a lot less uh, introverted and bitch made, but no, they they just kept that shit in. <laughs> Mister N, five dollars super chat. Uh, this raging uh, Akukamanga has actually raged up the chat. That's a feat worth uh, a feat worth unwarding and denouncing. Uh, eats popcorn. I also commented on her video. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh, shit, 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 no, I, I watched that, I read that already. Um, Bat in the Belfry 7? Uh, it's not that deep. Yeah, I, I concur, I really do. Really? $2 super chat? I act so cute talking about blackface. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, it, like, it was, like I said, it was just like that guy who tried to get, um, Apu taken off of the, of the Simpsons. He is deeply ashamed Cause he no, no, he even said in the documentary that he made he used to make jokes as a comedian, making fun of his parents and accented uh, Southeast Asian people. Now suddenly he's all form, like he's taking up form and shit. But he doesn't have the fucking balls to talk any of talk to any of them in their neighborhood, and uh, and uh, let their voices be heard and shit. Like he's full of shit. He's a self hating Indian asshole. <laughs> I think that's the same situation here. She's so self-hating. She does not like, like, oh, like, she's so insecure about being black. She sees a someone, she seems, a, she's a black person, uh, she sees a black person acting really boisterous and exaggerated. And she's like, oh, that sets us back 50 years. But see, instead of examining why you feel that way, you're just like, oh, no, this is white people's fault. This is white people. This is all their fault that I feel this way. They're using these gifts and they're and they're making fun of it. No, you don't like it, like it when black people act eccentric. So you, like I said, instead like you instead of like going inward, fixing that shit. It's like, oh no, no, that's just racism. That's why that's anti-black racism that people use these gifts. Fuck you. <laughs> just be just say you don't like your own race and just get over get it over with. Wolf Spain, five dollar super chat. I bet that Atlanta clip encapsulates her whole personality. I also uh, have you seen woke art Twitter when they draw black characters projection much? Yeah, this oh that shit was so fucking. Ugh. They always they always draw them with like the exaggerated lips. Like they always look dumb. Like you know that dumb look. <laughs> they always draw them that way, and it's like ooh. Now you want to talk about some racism? That's serious fucking. That's a serious black character right there. 
Seth Brown. Don't forget the guy, uh, the guy's parents said Apu reminded him of their son. They roasted him in his own wine fest documentary. Yeah. They know what, they know what their son's about. I mean, they love him enough not to like call him out in his own documentary, but you know, they know what, they know what her son's all about. Like they know what their son's all about. They know, they know. (laughs) And I think, like I said, I think it's the same thing here. There's a lot of self-hatred going on. I think. Oh, Kimball uh, Crockford, I think. Jay Longbone here is a free uh, faggot pass. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, Whale Finn, uh, don't apologize for being yourself, but be aware of your privilege and shut the fuck up. Oh, scapegoat. Apu hair. Uh, yeah, I still got, like, that, that review is still around, it's on, it's still on, it's on, um, bit shoot. I have to make, like, a little, t- uh, a little YouTube video for that, advertising that, because a lot of people don't know it's there, so, yeah, I gotta make that known. Uh, Pink, uh, Sh- Pink Shy, I think? Of course he didn't interview other Indian people, because if they disagreed with him, it would have destroyed his narrative. Yeah, that too. But like, and mostly though, he seemed fucking afraid of him, like, <laughs> which is very telling. Art Guru uh, Sauce Productions, five dollars super chat. What are your thoughts on people saying there's not enough black representation in anime and black washing? I don't know much about anime because I just watch <clears throat> whatever anime looks fucking interesting. I'm not deep in that shit. But it's like, yeah, it's made in Japan. What the fuck do you expect? <laughs> like, yeah, there's not not that many, if at all, like black people. In Japan, and if Japan is making shit for their people, yeah, ain't gonna be no black people in it. I'm not sweating it. Like when I, when I watch um, any any anime that's made in Japan, I'm not, I'm not sweating it over like, oh, there's no black people in this shit. Like, of course there isn't, you dumb shit. <laughs> um, uh, John Doe, the average Joe, two ninety nine super chat. Will you give permission to use gifts of you? Yes, I do. <laughs> Oh, Mr. N, did anybody hear about... Oh, Mr. N, $5 Super Chat. Did anyone hear about Dr. Hibbert's voice being replaced with Kevin Michael Richardson? Opinions, please. Oh, they 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 replaced Dr. Hibbert? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that sucks. I, I want to hear this dude's voice. If it doesn't... If it sounds off, then I don't... Yeah, that's terrible. Like, you should have never done that. Like, they should have never done that in the, play, in the, in the first place. But, like, if he sounds off, then it's like, ugh. Because his voice is very distinct. We know how Dr. Hibbert sounds. And if he sounds, doesn't sound like himself, we're going to be like, oh, this is not this is trash. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to this. I should have said it at the beginning. Oof, I'm tired, y'all. Sorry. And it wouldn't be such an issue or something to critique if some of the folks using Black folks to express their feelings would also be the same ones standing up for Black folks in the streets. Would, would you know or not if they're standing up for black folks? You don't fucking know that. You know, you want to get in people's lives over fucking gifts? The fuck is like I said? She's fucking mental. She's mental. So, uh, son of the D, uh, seven hundred and fifty isk. So she's saying that black people showing emotions equals racist. Wow, she's the definition of backhanded racism. Yeah, that's basically what it is. Ain't got nothing to do with white people using shit. <laughs> This is the way for her to excuse going off. Like, black people, can you not black people? (laughs) That's what it is. Megan McCain, I'm looking at you, girl. I mean, I can't believe I'm living in a society where it's okay to call for violence against police officers. I I do think at this point we need to ask whether or not Black Lives Matter is- You couldn't find a better clip than this, and that's number one. Number two, uh, she's right. I don't like Megan McCain either for a lot of other fucking reasons, but uh, she's not wrong here. (laughs) You can't uh, advocate to kill a certain group of people just because a couple of them did something fucked up. We kind of been through that several times. And we've all collectively, all the normal people, collectively decided that that's wrong. (laughs) It's a hate group. I'm sorry, but no, this is, no, you cannot do this. You cannot do this. 
Like I said, like, these are popular fucking gifts. Like, from popular shows and movies. That's why everyone in America and all over the world use them. Because they are popular. And because these people are very expressive and charismatic. That's why people use them. Alexis Hill, fight all the super chat. That moment when you become so anti-racist that you actually become racist. <laughs> True. <laughs> Now, in terms of internet equivalent, oh, like basically, she's not standing up for black people because she says it's wrong for Black Lives Matter, an organization not even started by black, black people, by, by the way. Uh, the organization that advocates for the death of a, of a whole group of people off the actions of a few because she advocates, uh, advocates against that. She's advocating against black people. You are so brainwashed, girl. You are so out of. Ooh. Like, no, bitch. Like, there's plenty of reasons to hate Meghan McCain. Plenty. That ain't it. <laughs> that ain't it. Uh, Mr. N, $5 super chat. See, see what, see what did I tell you about the communist bull? <laughs> Sweet Nova B, $4.99 super chat. And you know if white people uh, stopped using black gifts, the coin would flip and they'd say it'd be racist. Yeah. Basically, like, how come you're not being inclusive in how you express yourself online? And it would just flip because uh, SJWs, like people with this mentality, are fucking just nothing satisfies them because they're, like I said, they're fucking depressive as shit. Since I'm not gonna go down the list of all the stereotypes and make an equivalent for every single one, I gotta go to bed. But I was gonna pick out a few and just do some case studies. Sound good? Now these are not going to be exact replications of their 19th century counterparts. Just interesting similarities. Uh-huh, okay, what? Let's look at Nick <laughs> Young and Coyote Iwumi as our first examples. So people typically use this gif slash meme to- Well, how ironic, it's in this- <laughs> I got it in the upper, in the upper left hand corner. I guess I'm a coon now. Display confusion or ignorance in something just not making sense. And I know no one using this meme is thinking Nick Young is stupid. Well, maybe Iggy Azalea is thinking that, but... But no one else using this meme or gif is trying to say, look at this dumb black guy, ha ha ha. But oh yeah, so you know that, and but you're still gonna make a racial issue out of it anyway. But a lot of people don't actually know who Nick Young is. So? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> who gives a single fuck? A lot of people who use memes and shit in the grips, they don't know where the original source, what the original source is or who that person is in the gift. All they know is like, oh yeah, that's, I like that. That fits, uh, fits my mood right now. I'm gonna use that. Click. And it ends there. Like I said, either the, the gif itself is popular or the property it comes from is popular. It's popularized in America. So a lot of people in America are going to fucking use them. And they don't think about the race issue. It's just, oh, this expression is exactly what I'm feeling right now. Uh, this is what I'm going to use. And it's as simple as fucking that. Especially if you don't watch sports. So his image gets reduced to and becomes synonymous with. Some people don't give a fuck about sports. Simple as that. A lot of people don't give a single fuck about someone who throw ball. <laughs> the human actions of playing dumb or being confused or just looking stupid. Just like Jim Crow stood in as a personification of... Uh... Well, see, I'm not going to make any comparisons. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to compare one to the other. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> now watch me do that. <laughs> Like, he, they use his image as a source of confusion. No, actually, not even stupidity. It's confusion. Yes, they use it as a source of confusion. Because he looks confused in the image! <laughs> not because he's a confused nigger. It's because he's like, man, he is someone who is confused. The whole aura of the gif is confusion. If anything, this is a perfect example of how we are learning to look past race and we're really looking at emotion and like the vibe, the, the, uh, the aesthetic. <laughs> this is how I feel right now. This is what I'm feeling. It's very poetic. <laughs> uh, 
I'm sorry if I hurt anyone e anyone's ears. I'm like, I'm really fucking pissed off. This video is so dumb. Uh, now let's look at Coyote Iwumi's roll safe meme. I really hope I'm saying his name right. I'm pretty sure I am. Usually when people use this, it's to try to seem like they're outwitting something or someone or to just appear like they're smarter than they actually are. There's a false wisdom portrayed here and the audience is in on the joke, but the source of the joke, in this case the meme, isn't. That may seem like a convoluted way to explain that, but the role safe meme is to me a direct descendant of Zip Coon. Like who outsmarted, uh, like who made a really clever joke about uh, giving head or some shit and how he like, you know, and how he was really proud of that joke, how clever it was. That's, that's a descendant of, that's a descendant of the zip coon. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, Mothraton, a hundred rubles. By her logic, I would say Rick Rolls are offensive because no one knows anything about Rick Astley aside from him. Aside from him being in that one song. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, girl, you just racist. You see something with black people and you immediately think, oh, nigger. <laughs> Cootie. <laughs> You're a, she is a, she is the racist. She is the racist here. She looks at a fucking gift of a black person like, oh, that's some coon shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is embarrassing imagine like because imagine if a white person made this it'd be so fucking obvious but like like this video has like 35k upvotes and 722 downvotes it's a very healthy video and it's got like um 300 like over 330,000 views so there's a lot of dumb motherfuckers who saw who did couldn't see through this shit at all but like I said, if a white person had made this, people would be like, oh, this motherfucker is racist. <laughs> because self-hating black folks are really hard to fucking spot when they're being woke. Because like people are going to fall, like some people just fall in line, fall right in line with it because, oh, this is a black person talking about this. So clearly they know what the fuck they're talking about. Oh God. <laughs> this is so fucking... <laughs> This is so fucking racist. <laughs> it just hit me right here. <laughs> like, I already knew, but this is when it was like, bam. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, General uh, Mituna. This video is an IQ test. Everyone failed. <laughs> oh. Guardian Fortress woke. Stupid. Same thing. Yeah, I'm starting to believe that now. Oh, God. Mothrodon. Guys, is it racist to feel emotions? Oh, Nova Star woke has basically become a synonymous with racist at this point. Yeah, this is so fucking. Let's rewind it. Let's let's feel that again. Why don't we? Like let's feel that that pang again. <laughs> but a lot of people don't actually know who Nick Young is, especially if you don't watch sports. So his image gets reduced to and becomes synonymous with the human actions of playing dumb or being confused or just looking stupid. Just like Jim Crow stood in as a personification of... Uh... Oh. Now let's look at Coyote Iwumi's roll safe meme. I really hope I'm saying his name right. I'm pretty sure I am. Usually when people use this, it's to try to seem like they're outwitting something or someone or to just appear like they're smarter than they actually are. There's a false wisdom portrayed here, and the audience is in on the joke, but the source of the joke, in this case the meme, isn't. That may seem like a convoluted way to explain that, but the roll safe meme is to me a direct descendant of Zip Coon. Put your sand in our gym. <laughs> so I want to screen grab that, and I'm going to put that shit on Twitter. That's the funniest shit. <laughs> I wish Carl were here to watch this with me. <laughs> he would get a kick out of this shit. <laughs> oh, you know that, that guy who made a clever joke about giving head? He's really a descendant of the Zip Coon. <laughs> the Zip Coon? <laughs> and Zip Coon, like, is that like a coon on a zip wire? <laughs>
<laughs> on a zip line. <laughs> oh shit. Um, uh, Giddy three two eight, a four ninety nine super jet. Uh, this black character smiled. You know who else smiled? Uncle Tom did. Hmm. Racism. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, somebody said, uh, the altar of Kez can't be racist if you call everyone racist first. Oh, what? Jesus. I'm gonna come right back to that shit. That's funny. That's so unintentional. Like, Mr. N, $20 super chat, you know, in this anime called City Hunter in it, there is a character called, uh, Umibozu? Umibozu? Uh, okay. Many people think uh, many people think is black despite being Japanese. Isn't projecting traits on two an entirely different race, racist, because it's blackface? Well, yeah, like, it, yeah. Just because, I mean, just because the character's dark skin does automatically mean, oh, they're black. Because there are other, you know, races, and there are other races who have dark skinned uh, F fucking individual. There are individuals who are dark skinned, in basically all races. Oh my god, that's crazy. All right, we need to get back to this. Otherwise, I'm gonna be laughing at this shit all night. What's that, man? That's a period. That shows you that that's as far as I'm going with that sim. A woomy, a woomy, a woomy. He is a real person, but his image has taken on a life of its own. And as a result, it's not so much him, but the caricature of him. In 2017. Okay. That's not a caricature of him. That's him. That's him making a joke. And he's got an aura of like, uh, like clever, like, yeah, I'm being clever here. That's the, the, that's the emotion. That's like the. The aura of the gif that we are using, like the aura of the meme or the gif that we are using. Like Jesus Christ. But you look at this black dude, look at him, you you looked at him do that expression and you thought, coon. <laughs> That's your fucking problem, bitch. Nobody, I bet not one fucking white person who used, ever used that gif or made that meme referencing him was thinking, oh, I gotta dehumanize this nigger. <laughs> This nigger's going down. <laughs> He's going the down, baby. The most popular baby. way for Americans to express their happiness, according to Giphy, was this. And sadness was this. Now those don't look like Mammy, but I get a wise, independent black woman vibe from both. Oh my God. He just called that black woman in that, that he called Oprah and that, she called Oprah and that other black woman Mammy. Oh my God. <laughs> I get a mammy aura from Oprah. <laughs> I get a mammy oh, I get a mammy feeling from that bitch. Oh my god, this is horrible. How does this have how is this upvoted like this? How does this have a positive reception? Oh my god. Mr. N My face hurts already um because I've been laughing and just my jaw's been tight this whole time. This bitch does not think she's being racist at all. She says, this, oh, damn. Mr. N, $5 super chat. Guess it's a caricature if we use a uh, cells meme too, eh? <laughs> oh my God, she calls fucking Oprah <laughs> Mammy. <laughs> Which is like, I don't get that shit from no, either of those fucking gifts. Like, what the fuck? Ice Goddess Rukia says Reach. Oh, yeah, definitely. Sh uh, sheeply Waltz out of the loop. What is Mammy? Oh, God. I don't even want to fucking explain it. But it's like, it's like a caricature of like a, a like a big flat, flat, a big fat black chick, like big red lips and shit, usually wearing an apron, head wrap or whatever. You'll see like, um, if you ever see a cookie jar... <laughs> With an abnormally dark uh, black woman, like oh, see a cookie jar in the shape of an abnormally black, uh, an abnormally black black woman. Then yeah, that's that's what that is. <laughs> Laura uh, Hugel, uh, five dollars super chat. Will you make an episodic review of the anime series Ghost Stories dub like you did with Batwoman? You can find the episodes online. Oh God. But if it's like it's a, if it's already making fun of itself, I don't think I need to. Like you know, I don't know. I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll do that. <clears throat> 
But thank you for the suggestion, though. Shelby MD, two dollar super chat. It's a giant mammy statue. <laughs> oh God, I remember that. <laughs> That's right. I did say, um, like Oprah was a giant mammy statue when I did that. Uh, that um, uh, oh that uh, I already forgot the name of the a wrinkle in time. That wrinkle in time commentary, right? But see, I was joking. <laughs> I was joke. I wasn't dead serious. I don't think Oprah is actually a mammy at, at that point. And then point in that movie, she did look a little mammyish. <laughs> like I'm not saying I'm not like yeah, she is a direct like yeah. Everything Oprah does is basically mammyish. But in that movie, she did look a little mammyish, like a like a super extraterrestrial mammy. But that's the movie's fault. That ain't my fucking fault. Bogged in the lurker, two dollars super chat. She just, just she honestly just insulted these women just now. Yeah. Oh God. I can't even, I can't even, I just can't even, <laughs> uh, Mickey, uh, Mickey Kiki, I think, Oprah is peak mammy, <laughs> help me please, alright, I gotta continue, I gotta go, I gotta go, it, it, I know it's gonna get funnier from here, but I gotta go, damn, this is them. And Oprah has been memed and gift 10 Ways to Sunday as a representation of wisdom, relaxation, enthusiasm, or colorful expression as man. Yeah, because, yeah, that's, yeah. Because a lot of people think of her that way. Yeah, the struggler. Five dollar super chat. Oprah is a mammy. Okay, but why though? <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Kenobi, $5 super chat. Hey, forced quirkiness could be labeled insensitive in itself. Like, yeah, this stuff is so racist and insensitive, but me so funny and unique. Yeah. I hate it. was always given. But actually, Yama might fit better into this mammy mean because I think people outside of the black circles might not actually be as familiar with her. So it's easier for them to turn her personhood into something like this. But Why would... If they don't know what it is, then why would they tell? Could they turn it into that? It doesn't make any sense. You are seeing that and you're projecting it on, on to white people who use these, these gifts and memes. Just be fucking honest about it. They're turning her into a mammy without knowing what a mammy is. How is that even possible, bitch? How is that possible? What are you talking about? That, that you let a penis penetrate your friendship. I'm sorry, but that... How is that mammy in, in, in any sense? The reason why people think it's funny is because it's funny. She's quirky and she has really weird, she has really weird um sayings and shit. You know who else people fucking use gifts of and quotes of and memes of who, who who's like, who's just like this? Dr. Fucking Phil. <laughs> Dr. Fucking Phil. And that motherfucker is as white and country as it fucking comes. If you are quirky and weird and funny, people are going to meme and gif you, period. Black, white, whatever. If you are colorful in any way, and I mean colorful as in your personality, not your skin tone, just so you know, just so you know that. Uh, if you are colorful in any fucking way, you will be gifted and memed on the internet. That is the way it is. Evil Hero Diamond Cat, $5 Super Chat, are you going to make a video covering your favorite uh, JRPGs? I know how much you love talking about JRPGs and anime. Oh, damn it! Because I think I missed that, that fucking... Damn it. Oh, no, no, I, I read that one. Okay, we're fine. But how is that even mammyish in the... In a, in a, in a, in a, how? It fucking explain it. Mothrodon, 40 rubles. Meme, <clears throat> memes rights... Meme, right act, meme rights activists unite. Uh, the altar of Kez, uh, Patrick Stewart is meme to Helen back. Yeah. Uh, Emma Hollow, opera, <clears throat> opera, <laughs> Oprah is a fucking billionaire. She has bigger problems than internet blackface. Correct. Uh, Mr. N, $5 super chat. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> A fluff pink, fluffy pink bunny is. I, I should be stuttering. Yeah, I should be studying. Why am I still here? Because you love the cringe, fluffy pink bunnies. Because you love it. 
But yeah, I'm trying to, like, tell me how this is mammy is Like, when is the last time you heard a mammy say anything about penises? <laughs> I want someone to make an edit right now. <laughs> Not right now, but when, when it, whenever you get to it. Make a fucking edit of, like, a mammy character saying this line. <laughs> and, fuck, and so we can laugh at how stupid this is. Penis! Penis! Because <laughs> that is fucking funny. That is hilarious. What? On her personhood. How does it, Mammy? How does it into something like this? How that that you let a penis penetrate your friendship? A penis. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more because we have to talk about penis! Mariah Carey. Mariah's memes, in the ways that I've seen them, are used and are synonymous with being shady, wealthy, or being shady because she's wealthier and prettier than you. And like, I don't think Mariah Carey is a tragic mulatta because yeah, she's pretty, she's wealthy, and she shades you without trying. Does she seem cool? I don't know her. <laughs> but the image of her on these gifts and memes turns her into some uppity, light-skinned woman who looks no, that's how you, you're you seeing it. Because you put black people in fucking boxes. That's your fucking problem. That is your problem all around, baby. You are projecting your issues onto fucking gifts of black people, which tells me that you have way too much fucking time in your hands. Looks light enough to pass and seems like she just cares about getting ahead. Now me mentioning- What the fuck are you talking about? Like, I love how she says, oh, she just simply looks shit. She just simply, like, comes off shady and, like, a rich bitch. But she is light-skinned. So in my opinion, for, from what, how I view light-skinned people, that means she's an uppity, trying-to-get-ahead light-skinned bitch. <laughs> but no, 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 it's not my problem. Like, that's white people, what white people think. White people think that. I don't think that. White people think that. They think that. That's their, that's not. They think that shit. I don't think that shit. White people think that shit. <laughs> Is it? Oh God! Shut up! <laughs> a few GIF and meme equivalents to menstrualcy stereotypes was not me trying to say that every time you use Nick Young's face, you're calling black guys dumb. Again, the whole purpose of this video is to provide some context, give you some some context. Why would we need context if there's nothing wrong with that? Context. You sound like fucking. You sound like a woke version of Sean Connery. Contact. History and some things to consider to help you better critique the world around you. Why would we need to critique anything if there's nothing wrong with it? And how the fuck would you even know that they're being used for a racist purpose <clears throat> when it's just a fucking gif? Huh? Because you haven't told us that. You haven't even explained how we should... Keep keep all you know. Keep watch of the whiteies who are using this for evil instead of good. I feel like I always have to say that because the message kind of. You always have to say it because your fucking argument doesn't hold up. People who don't people um people who have good arguments don't have to fucking repeat themselves over and over again. Unless you're talking to a bunch of fucking dumbasses, and your argument is good, and they just don't. It doesn't register gets lost sometimes you know and you know if we're not aware of a problem how can we fix it come on the whole reason how is it a problem you haven't even explained that shit all you see that's not like i said all that padding all that blackface padding from before to like 17 <clears throat> like 17 minutes of fucking blackface padding that was to like get you in the mind frame like oh racism is bad and I feel bad about racism. That way, all the other weak shit she says will be reinforced by that. That's all that is. Because there's no fucking correlation between these two things. They do not fit together. They don't fit together at all. Face is still able to exist in the digital sphere is predicated on its malleability. Non-black folks walking around with shoe polish on their face for Halloween is always gonna get a negative reaction from most people, especially in the 21st century. Okay, but what does that have to do with gifts? But non-black folks using certain gifts and memes that unconsciously perpetuate black stereotypes on the gram is simply gonna get an LOL. Oh, so oh, so she really does think uh, that um, 
that the dude from uh, the, the uh, oh my god, the unsinkable Kimmy Schmidt, I forgot the name of that show, she thinks that, like him, Oprah, they're all fucking caric- caricatures of black people. She thinks that they are embarrassing the black community. Like I said before, that the fact that white people are using it is not the fucking pro- not, is not her fucking problem. It's the fact that she is ashamed of these fucking black people who are too exaggerated for her taste, for her Canadian tastes. <laughs> Fuck out of here, Sarah. Two dollars super chat. Streisand effect intensifies. <clears throat> Mister N. Five dollars super chat. Next thing you know, next thing you'll know. Caddy will uh, reinterpret Godzilla versus Kong as a means of oppression. And Lord already knows I cursed that film to film. <laughs> oh, God. Goat Art Bazaar, $2 super chat. F it. The human race was a mistake. Yeah, like I said, she's got a problem with these black people acting, acting exaggerated. And she's so fucking insecure. She thinks whenever a white person or a non, non-black person uses it, it's some kind of like form of mockery. Are you like, you mocking me? Are you mocking me? But like I said, the non-blacks and the whites who use that shit, that's not the problem with her. The problem is that black people just need to stop acting so black. <laughs> you blacks need to stop acting so black. Or at least you American blacks need to stop acting so black. She's, um, yeah. I think she's just deeply ashamed of exaggerated blackness. Me, I could give a fuck. If you're born black, you black. Uh, it doesn't fucking matter. Doesn't matter if you act exaggerated or not. You're only setting black people back if you, uh, well, say shit like this. <laughs> if you are self-hating and clearly racist, which this bitch clearly is. That's the only time you've setting this back. If you ain't, if you're not doing what you're supposed to do for uh, the betterment of society. If you're in it, if you're like, if you're, if you're a racist piece of shit, you gonna set you probably gonna set your race back or whoever back, at least a hundred years. <laughs> I don't give a shit if a black even though I hate this. If a black person's wearing their jeans halfway off their ass, the only person they're embarrassing is themselves. <laughs> Cause that shit is fucking oh, that's so trashy. I hate that shit. Cause every, everybody does it now. It ain't just black people. Like everybody fucking does it now. I hate it. Ooh, nobody wants to see your fucking underwear. Nobody wants to see your fucking Hershey stains. Pull up your goddamn pants. Oh, ugh. this is that fuck boy shit. Um, Goat Art Bazaar, two dollars super chat. I almost feel bad for her. She has low self esteem. Correct. <sighs> we need to keep going. Jesus. I just think we should be a bit more mindful of it. Is all I'm saying. No, that's social justice warrior shit. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's bad. <laughs> A passive aggressive horse shit. I can't stand it. Good morning, TPS students. It is testing week and it's time to slay all day. Yeet. Stay woke. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Be on fleek and get that Gucci. B- but it's not because they're white, it's because they're fucking, they obviously just learned this shit yesterday. <laughs> they're not used to saying it and it comes off wrong. It's like what I said about, um, 365 days when I uh, did my little reaction to that. Dude didn't f- sound right saying baby girl because it's not within the European vernacular. He's a fucking off, straight off the boat Italian and he did not sound right saying that shit. Now, if he was Southern, he would have sound, sounded correct saying that. It would have came out the right mouth. I still would, it still would have been cringy, but I've been like, okay, this is, this is better. This is better. It's a little sexier than, you know. Oxium Prime, two dollars super chat. Black person, not Oprah. Kind of racist. <laughs> yeah, they don't sound right saying it because they don't belong to that demographic at all. Breakfast goals. Say- and plus, it's internet vernacular. You're not supposed to say this shit in real life. <laughs> you say this shit in real life, you're like, no matter what, you're fucking embarrassing. Bye, Felicia, to that testing stress. Bye, Felicia! Oh, no! Weather's gonna be turnt, right, Chris? Yeah! I'm not, see, I'm not offended by this shit, though. It's just funny. It's just people, it's just like old people embarrassing themselves on television. I laugh at it and I move the fuck on. I don't, my melanin doesn't start quivering and cracking at the sight of this yes. shit. Toledo weather gonna be the lit during testing week. A hundo P chance of success. You got this, kids. So back in 1986. What's, what, what are they talking about? It's like some back to school shit? 
Yes, yeah, students, it is testing. Yeah, so they're trying to uh, like uh, appeal to kids. Because they're talking about like kids going back to school and shit. So yeah, that's the purpose of that. Oh, excuse me. I, said, I hate it when uh, like black folks think that their language is like just their language. Like it's African American language, not just African language. Like it's been popularized in America and there's all kinds of races in America. So everyone in America is going to use it. Week and it's time to slay all day. It only becomes cringy when the person is like, is too old. Let's be real. They're too fucking old. Stay woke, be on fleek, and get that Gucci breakfast. Goals. Get that Gucci breakfast. <laughs> what the fuck? LTRT, $2 super chat. This is just cringe. Nothing more, nothing less. Exactly. Not even something to get, um, not something to get turned about. <laughs> Bye, Felicia, to that testing stress. Weather's going to be turned, right, Chris? Yes! Oh, God, the weather's going to be the lit during testing week. A hundo P chance of success. A hundo P. got this, kids. So back in 1986, computers had a, a jive filter <laughs> that would translate white speak into jive talk. Basically a parody of AAVE, or African American Vernacular English. I'll explain what that is in a second. These days, we don't have Jai filters, but we do have Twitter and just social media in general. On almost all social media platforms, you have so many non-black folks using AAVE. Stop it's calling them non-black folks. You are so stuck up and up your own ass. Shut up. Non-black folks. Non-black. I hate that shit. At Mr. Ren, five dollars super chat. Jabodi. Dabu di dabu di da do die. I think I know that song. I don't know. I, I got the I got that from Beetlejuice cartoon because my brain is roasting. Mothardon, a hundred rubles. Why are they so dead set on stripping people of personal agency and responsibility? It's just video games cause violence repackaged and woke. <laughs> Meg Gillespie, six six dollars and sixty six cents super chat. Isn't the whole melting pot thing mean we are stronger together and inspire each other? I really think that idea of America is gone. Yeah, people are just trying to resegregate. We're just trying to resegregate ourselves. Well, not we, but like the wokes. They're trying to resegregate everybody. I don't know why. Because like they want to be like everyone else, but they also want to have, they want to be special. And you know, you can't share your culture. You can't share, actually it's American culture. Like, let's be fucking real. It's not, just for black people. It's it you it it popularized in America. It was created in America, so it's American culture. They want it like they want they don't want they want they don't want borders. They want everybody to be the same and have love free love and all that bullshit. But as soon as you start as soon as you start speaking fucking slang, suddenly it's like no white no, white people can't stop, talk like that. You can't talk like us. You can't do that. You can like which is it? Which is it, bitch? just incorrectly non-black folks using aave just girl i ain't seen it yet i ain't sorry i ain't seen it yet i'm gonna be pissed aren't i uh she is saying it right you just don't like that she's not black you just don't like that she's not black if she was black you'd be fine with it mr n five dollar super chat segregation like what sony is doing with the ps4 I don't know what that means. <laughs> hey, Jenny, baby, $2 super chat. This is a Zoomer versus Boomer term. It's not about race. Exactly. Exactly. And plus, yeah, she is using this correctly. Like I said, you just don't like it because she's not black. Incorrectly. And there's a direct. And it's also a part of it is like these wokes don't like it when white people use this shit because it's almost like when they stay, they start using it or like when someone uncool starts using it, they start to realize that this, you know what? This slang is kind of sounds dumb. <laughs> it kind of sounds fucking stupid. But instead of being like, oh, can you I should just use, just not use it as much because it kind of sounds embarrassing. Um, <laughs> they're just like, no, white people should just, should just stop using it so it can go back to sounding cool. <laughs> That's what it is. But like I said, most people, pe most black people don't care about this. This is just like the wokes. It's just the wokes. Ugh lineage of this misuse and mocking of AAVE from minstrel. It's not mocking. They're sharing popular shit with each other because it was popularized where they're at. 
When something's popular, people share it. That's what. It, that's as simple as that. See, you got to prove. They're mocking us. It's just like blackface. It's just like minstrel shows. Do that to me. I'm a man. Why can't I prove it to you? Writer Manuel Arturo Abreu. Oh God, oh, I almost want to make this my header, but I don't know if it'll fit. Like, I want his face in with the cockmaster part. I just had to screen grab that. That is, what is, what is this? <laughs> what is this? Breu calls this internet misuse of AAV. Of course, a motherfucker who wants to restrict white people from using, or non-blacks from using AAV looks like that. Of course he does. E -E imagined black English. It's a perception of what black folks, specifically black Americans sound like, and not an actual fully realized understanding of the linguistic structures of a dialect like AAVE. So like I said, you you just don't like it when white people use it. It's not used, it's not really being used incorrectly. It's just the uncool people are using it and you don't like that. Now let's explain what that is. So AAVE. You don't understand the depths of the word turnt. Turnt means an old black slave from 1850 turnt a bun cake very sadly. And that's where the term turnt came from. <laughs> that's what <laughs> it's that ridiculous. It's, I'm laughing. It's just, it's just that ridiculous. It's that fucking ridiculous. E is an American dialect recognized. She turned a bun cake for her white master and howled for her lover, her dead lover who died previously. And the bun cake was made for her dead lover and she turned it and that's where turned came from. <laughs> I'm just babbling, but like, that's what that's what she sounds like to me. She just fucking babbling. Uh, Wolf Spain, $5 super chat. What is this BS uh, about using slang? She sounds like the type of girl who would get bullied for talking white. Exactly, that's what I'm saying, exactly. That's true. Like definitely, be, if you came come to America and went to an urban school, yeah, you'd be definitely you'd be fucking clowned for talk for for speak, for talking like a white girl. You know, like how I was. How you try to sound all fucking smug and shit while uh, spouting all this racist bullshit? Yeah, you be made fun of. It's almost like you would only use AAV as a uh, defense mechanism or like some kind of form of, um, what do you call it? Uh, sur uh, like a survival technique as a child. As by most linguists, it has its own vocabulary and phonology. It's thought to have two possible origins. One, where it diverted from English, because in the simplest way to explain this, languages change when groups of people speaking those languages separate. Kind of like how the Latin languages languages, the Latin language has changed into French, Spanish, Italian, as a few examples. During slavery- No, you're right, Latin languages. <laughs> languages. It's, you know, languages. Uh, winter fire. Five dollars super chat. Did you see some people, did you see people getting mad over guys cutting down shoes on electric wires? They're saying they're ghetto memorials. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. They're ghetto memorials. People just throw up shoes that they found on the fucking sidewalk and just throw them up on power lines because it was just a thing to do. Oxium Prime, I can tell by the way she decorates her room. She does not enjoy fun. Yeah. Yeah, she's got one of those like those rooms where either she hangs up Christmas lights in her room because she doesn't own her own living room. Um, or she's at that level of maturity where, oh, I can decorate my womb. Oh. Uh, which which means she's probably around college age. Either one. Or she like or like I said, she lives with her parents and they won't let her hang up Christmas lights in the living room. Slaves would have spent more time talking to each other than to their white slave owners, and as a result, they formed their own dialect of English. The other possible origin of AAVE is that it's actually a hybrid of many African. Are you saying that, like, when someone says the word turnt, they're really 
speaking slave language. Isn't that also kind of racist? Like I ain't seen my th I ain't seen my baby since we got turned at the club last night. Yeah, I'm basically speaking like a slave. <laughs> Goat art bizarre five dollars super chat. This is the most useless video on YouTube in five minutes. Hacks exist on this platform. Wow. It's correct though. Yeah, Goat Art Bazaar, that was harsh, but correct. <laughs> Tom Fenton, $2 Super Chat. I get a feeling she's hanging more than lights. <laughs> I think I know what that means. <laughs> in languages and English. And I can kind of see that because in a place like Gambia, where my family's from, people will speak aku and some people call that pigeon or broken English. And that's kind of like a variation you could kind of see, not necessarily, but. Slaves being brought from Africa most likely wouldn't have spoken English. And if they're mainly talking to each other and not the white people while still learning English, it makes sense that that dialect would change. I was actually in a class for this program that I'm in where the speaker was talking to us about the Negro spiritual and brought up the fact that a lot of black people um. didn't have access to healthcare or Oh, uh, so you're in like what a a black, well, a black history studies fucking class. You can tell she's not studying to to get a job in the future. I don't know. Maybe she wants to work at a fucking library or, I don't know, a fuck what uh, museum. <laughs> I don't know. Or any benefits in the antebellum south and so if you don't have dental care let's say as an example you're going to pronounce words differently that kind of contributes to the phonology of aave in a way or at least i think it does i don't know if that's true but i i, I... oh you're presenting something that you don't know is true so like this whole fucking video <laughs> I think it could, you know? Also, there's Nakia Smith, who has been talking about Black American Sign Language and- What? <laughs> how that has evolved over time. I'm gonna post the video below if y'all haven't seen it. It's very fascinating. I knew nothing about that, but mm -hmm, that's all a little dialect too, okay? Come on. So, since AAVE is a mostly recognized dialect, there are certain rules used when speaking it, such as the deletion of certain words, the use of double negatives to reinforce each other, and the habitual B. Now, where this fits into digital blackface is that people on Twitter, for example, um, Mia J eight K three G five dollar super chat. Khadija has a room. Everyone, wow, disgusting. Look at her room, gross. She's boring and basic. I can't believe her. Uh, yeah, it's really basic to have plants and hang up Christmas lights, especially all white Christmas lights in your room. It's pretty fucking basic. Yeah. You look on Tumblr or like even on Instagram, every fucking white girl has that set up. <laughs> every, there's all, this is famous picture on Tumblr where this white girl has like this fort set up with uh, sheets and tables and shit. And it was like those same white Christmas lights. Yeah, it's the basic bitch setup. Like what you want us to say? <laughs> it is. She got the basic bitch set up. Don't get mad because she do. Tom, and plus, we're just making fun of her. It's not, it doesn't invalidate her arguments at all. It just, it's just another rung on the SJW ladder. It's just something to make fun of. But like, yeah, it's a basic bitch set up. Let's be real. Tom Fenton, $2 super chat. She'd be like, we was Kangs and we was, <laughs> we had slang. <laughs> Ice goddess, uh, Rukia, nothing wrong with her being basic. <laughs> Can you be final super chat? All white lights? That's racist. Uh, no, it's actually racist to think exaggerated gifts of black people are somehow a version of blackface <clears throat> because they're acting exaggerated. It's almost like, you know, you hate your own race because they act a little exaggerated. That's... That's what's racist, not the not the lights. And like I said, we're just clowning her for her room because it's very, it's kind of has a Tumblr essence. Like, let's come, I like, come on, let's be real. All right, anyway, let's tend go. to misuse AAVE all the time in an attempt to sound cool or up to date with the latest slang. I mean, y'all be deleting words at random and putting the habitual. Yeah, nice, uh, you know. 
crossing out their names and their avatars so we don't see who the, exactly who they are. Yeah, it's really nice. How convenient. <laughs> will be everywhere thinking that you sound like this. Excuse me, homie, I'm just front, no disrespect. When you really sound like this. If homeboy is coming through with these, right. it's quiet. Yeah, no, right. it's quiet for him. Jordan's homeboy is gonna like, get it. And that wasn't that bad. Like I said, everybody fucking talks like that now because that's just internet language now. Like I said, if something's popularized, in your region, everyone in that region is gonna use it. You got, you're gonna have to get, get fucking used to that. For the millionth time, AAV is it. a dialect, not- Like black people are being accepted to the point where people are, ta are talking like you. Like that should be a fucking compliment. That's not something you should be fucking dissecting, dissecting as some kind of attack. Like what, the, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Jesus. Slang. But when you have things like linguistic subordination, as Abrero points out, using AAVE is seen as using a dialect comprised of people. Uh, LTRT, $2 super chat, that's just Twitter destroying grammar. <laughs> I hate it when YouTube does that, where they show fucking super chats from hours ago. <laughs> people with lower intelligence. Elaborating as using a coordination, as Abrero points out, using AAVE is seen as using a dialect comprised of people with lower intelligence. Okay, what does that have to do with white people using it? Like, or do, you, do you really think, oh, stupid, pe stupid black folks sound like this, so I'm gonna fucking use it. And I wanna sound stupid too. Like, why would they adopt that? Why would they adopt that and wanna sound as dumb as the people they hate? Does that make fucking sense? Does that make any goddamn sense? Like which y'all, which one do y'all think is correct? Like popular, a popular like thing that was popularized in that region, the and the people from that region start adopting it and like using that popular thing because it's popular. Or do you think that these white people just fucking hate? They hate black people so much that they're stealing their language so they can sound just like the people they hate. Not because like which one sounds more correct? <laughs> Oh my god, like, like, you know what, you know what I hate, niggers? You know what I really want to sound like, a nigger? <laughs> Does that fucking sound great? It's you're fucking delusional. Fucking delusional. Elaborating on this, he talks about how there's this two-ness at play in white America's treatment of black English. It's cool currency in youth culture, but it's also bad English. Yes, it is. It's almost like it doesn't matter to them. It's almost like it doesn't fucking matter. Like, yeah, it's bad English, but that's how we talk on the fucking internet. It's simple. We simplify shit because sometimes we only got like, what? Well, for, at first it was 140 characters. Now it's 280. But yeah, we don't have that much. We simplify shit. We, re we reduce it because we don't like it's it's that's why they call it microblogging. That's why Twitter is called a microblogging platform because Everything is micro, like shortened, short and sweet. That's why people get pissed off if you would like type a whole fucking paragraph online because this is supposed to be micro, micro. Yes, at play in white America. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me look at chat right quick. Go to Art Bazaar says it can be both. Exactly. Literally a human. Someone clipped that out of context. Uh, Cameron Areola. <laughs> hey, go in her comments. All the people in there agree with her are white people. Yeah, I don't... <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, I don't doubt that at all. I do not doubt that at once for one second. The Risky Nine. A lot of the British dialect was created to distinguish... Yeah, to distinguish themselves away from people they had disdain for. Exactly. Like, why the fuck would people who think they're... Who think that they're better than you want to be as low, like, apparently as low as you. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Evil hero diamond cat, micro! <laughs> oh God, anyway, let's continue. America's treatment of black English. It's cool currency in youth culture, but it's also bad English. Yes, it is both. 
It is fucking both at the same damn time. Ebonics to me was the dumbest idea ever. Foo was a way of saying, you silly young man. <laughs> oh, I need to watch this again. I love the 90s. I love that fucking series. Unbridled Wild, uh, 199 Super Chat. Her point is about as empty as her room. <laughs> oh, boy. What are you talking about, Willis? What's up? Why y'all in my sh was a way of saying the season desist. And I hate to say this, but a lot of y'all, myself included at times, internalize this duality of coolness and bad grammar. The way- And also like those were jokes. Like all, most of the people who are making those fucking jokes in I Love the 90s, most of the people in I Love the 90s are fucking comedians, which means they were joking around about this shit. But yeah, it is bad English. It's bad English and also it's a way to speak cool on the internet or in real life, but mostly on the internet. But that's, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. It's both. It can be both. God damn it. I talk around other black people and white people I trust is very different from the way that I talk in professional spaces. And uh, that's everybody. <laughs> you are not special in this. The way I talk around white people I trust, oh, ooh, those terrorists, uh, <laughs> is different from how I speak in professional spaces. That's everybody. That is fucking everybody, even white people. Because motherfuckers seem to think that white people do not come from rural areas, don't come from urban areas, and don't have a certain dialect that could also be seen as uncouth and bad English. They, these motherfuckers really think that all white people be speaking correctly. They do not. Spe uh, keep, keep uh, uh, take it from somebody who has lived around white people and black people. And like white people from the South, come on, bruh, come on. A lot of the time they don't speak correctly either. Like get the fuck out of here with this shit. And that's because I've been told in so many covert and overt ways that using AAVE is a sign that you weren't smart enough to learn how to speak proper grammar or speak proper English. It's just code switch. If you use it in a professional setting, yeah. Again, you're not gonna get a job if you speak the way you do with your friends at, at your job. Yeah. Because they want professionalism. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not like people are saying, like, don't speak it at all. Never. Never in a... Ever. <laughs> ever. It's code switching. Yeah, white people have to do it too. White people got to do it too. Switching. An example of this is, because I grew up in Georgia, I would actually always say ax instead of ask. And I remember getting made fun of for the way I said it by a white person. And I consciously made an effort to stop saying ax and say ask. That's sh that's not that is not AAV. That's just like a weird pronunciation of ask. Like I don't I don't understand how how that happens. How people get it like say ax instead of ask. Eh. And I only notice it because my older siblings still say ax because they still have a bit more of an accent than I do. It is interesting. Now let's look at. Okay, um, cannot pronounce that, but Russian name, <laughs> uh, 100, uh, 100 rubles. Hello, Jane Longbone, saw your latest, uh, Batwoman video, and you sounded tired and slightly heartbroken. I hope you're feeling better o overall now. Also, hello, chat. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I did sound a little tired <laughs> and heartbroken, but that's because I was watching Batwoman. Like, it, it'll happen. Like, that, sh that show is fucking draining me. at Stan Twitter language, for example. A lot of the words and phrases used under the umbrella Stan Twitter language was slash is created by trans queer people of color and our Southern black aunties and grandmas. Trans, like so specific, trans women of color. Why is it so fucking specific? Specifically trans women of color, why and how? I don't get it. <laughs> specifically with trans women of color, okay. Did you want, did you just want this video to be inclusive? Look how many fucking genders and stuff I know. Look, <laughs> look how much stuff I know guys. Oh shit. 
Mike, Mikey Gussler coming with the C-Note Super Chat. You deserve this, Jay Longbone. Lift your content and character. I know that you have said that you haven't watched Lord of the Rings in a while. So I recommend... Oh, shit. I recommend watching the extended editions and then watching Cinematic Venom's uh, Lord of the Rings video, which he brings up race. It'll be, it'll be a great live stream. Oh, Lord. Jason Stevens, uh, 25HK. I think she just made the point. She's embarrassed that her old, older siblings don't sound Queen's English enough. Also, Americans stop being so American. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's Cino Super Chat. Thank you very much, Mikey Gosler. But yeah, like I said, like through the whole video, she just comes off as like fucking above it, <laughs> above it. Like she trying to like says so she's trying to project this shit off on white people and non blacks, uh, but yeah she's just deeply ashamed of black people who act a little too black for her liking. Keep in mind she's from Canada. Keep in mind, like I'm not saying like they probably don't speak the same way that we do or like have the same culture, but like you know it's got to be a little different out there. Like yeah she is she ain't out she ain't out here like that she ain't out here. <laughs> But, like, I really think she does not, um, she doesn't like that boisterous, she doesn't like the boisterous blackness. She doesn't like it. But instead of, like, like I said, like, a lot of people, like, like the a lot of the SJW types are too narcissistic to self-examine. They'd rather just push that shit off. Oh, no, it's the white people who's the problem. It's whiteness. It's the non-blacks. <laughs> Which is so, oh, I hate saying that, but, like, I'm saying it to mock her. Because that's so fucking disrespectful. Anyway, but like she's she she says it. She pushes that shit off on the non-blacks and the whites and shit, and um, makes a fucking a uh, a uh, a video essay and think, oh well, that's handled. I like that's I said my rosary, I said uh, my uh, twenty hail marys, my soul is clean. I don't have to look in inward anymore because I've done my job. <laughs> I, I've called out the racism of the whites. So now I don't have to look inward and fix my own internalized racism. That's what that is. A uh, Godart Bazaar. It's, it's kind of like, and it sounds fucked up. But like, I'm not comparing each crime. Remember that. I'm comparing how people, how people, um, um, deal with their internalized hatred. It's like how, like when a pedophile joins a Catholic church, they do it so they can clean their soul of their sins. They don't do it to fucking help people. <laughs> like, they, yeah, they'll rape a boy on Wednesday. And on Sunday, they'll go in, say their Hail Marys. They'll do their little praying and shit and think, oh, I'm clean. I'm good. I'm good. God forgave me. Just like this chick. I got internalized racism. I actually don't like it when pe black people act black. I don't like it. So instead... I said my little Hail Marys, which in her case is blaming all the races, all the, like saying it's all race, all her racism, all her internalized racism is white people's fault. It's all white people. She says her rosary and all that shit, which, you know, she makes her little, you know, her little video essay. You know, she acts like, like she's hella, hella woke. And then her, like her soul is clean. Her sin cup is clean for the week until she starts feeling depressed and, uh, and she starts feeling the self-hatred again. And then she's got to make another video. That's what that is. That's what, that's what the fuck that is. But, you know, like I said, these types of people, like these SJWs are fucking narcissistic as hell. So they will not look internally ever. Probably not until they get to a good, uh, like, middle age. <laughs> and they're just not, you know, they're just not hitting it anymore. That's when the light will come on and they'll be like, oh shit, I really didn't like myself for a while. Anyway, give and take $10 super chat. Thank you for all you do. Thank you. And thank you for all you did. Just a Is that a fucking dabbing emoji? No, no. <laughs> um, yeah, CJ just hit us with three dabbing emojis. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm not going to sleep tonight. <laughs> I'm not going to sleep tonight. Anyway, let's just, uh... Let's I've been at the walls with the legendary children. Would it seem ignorant if I slapped the taste out of your mouth? And 
the miscontextualization of AAVE. So this constant misuse of AAVE slash black queer slang in general contributes to this linguistic Oh no, everyone's got the fuck. I shouldn't have said a goddamn thing. Now everyone's dabbing in the fucking chat. Fuck! Next time I ain't saying shit. Minstrelsy. <laughs> because under the anonymity of the internet, you can try on blackness in this linguistic form. This Shut up. It's not blackness anymore. That's, that's the thing. That's what worries her. That it's not blackness anymore. It's just internet culture. It's internet culture. It's youth culture. And it's American culture. That's what got you, that's what got you uh, turnt. <laughs> That's what got you, that's what got you all, uh, no, what's the word? No, I was gonna, yeah, that's good. That's what's got you all verklempt. That's a little Jewish, J-A-V, E, J-A-V for yo ass. You, yeah, you're all verklempt and shit over this. God forbid, oh, I might not be as special as I think anymore. That's another part of it. Like, oh, fuck, they got our language. Well, don't make it popular in America then. Because then all Americans are gonna think they can say it, which they can because it's popularized in America. This Sorry. Dialect and its subsequent slang become repurposed, decontextualized, and redistributed into the popular white sphere. Popular straight white sphere, popular straight sphere, all the spheres. And as Abreu puts it, deracialized. Popular, oh, the white sphere, the white sphere, the whitest sphere. <laughs> Well, it was to say, deracialized and decontextualized these, de these redefined words entered the mainstream lexicon at an accelerated rate due to the internet and their prolific, prolifer, 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 proliferation, I don't know, I can't talk tonight, guys, among white standard English speakers prompts exhaustion. Yeah, you just, oh, our English became popular and that fucking sucks. It really sucks, guys, that we're actually being accepted by the mainstream now. It really sucks. And decontextualized. Suck? These redefined words enter the mainstream lexicon at an accelerated... And they're not re redefined. They have the same fucking definition. Like I said, it's just the people using them that you don't like. ...rated rate due to the internet and their proliferation among white standard English speakers prompts exhaustion. So after a while, you have people who have no clue where this language came from, they know exactly where it came from. Fuck. <laughs> they know where it came from. Sarah, Sarah, uh, Sarah directs to know super chat, giving you more because you suffered enough. I, I know my, my fucking jaw is suffering right now. This is just tight with every fucking word out of her mouth. I'm <laughs> jabber jaws. <laughs> becoming sick of it because of its misrepresented overuse and trying to claim some authority. Which should be, which word should be banned in 2015? Yas. Yes, it should be banned because every, like, cause it's fucking annoying. Mothrodon, a uh, hundred rubles. Uh, whitey's done racism this, straights stole memes that. Uh, Lady, your perception of the earth consists solely of America. Curb your moral crusade, crusade please. <laughs> Which word should be banned in 2000? Like, yeah, it should be fucking banned. Because it's fucking annoying. Yas, yas. I only say it to, to fuck. I only say it to be fucking annoying. Yas, yas. Because it sounds fucking dumb. Come on. LTRT. And plus, some words just get old. And like, some slang just gets old. And then we move on to the next thing. That's how it works. LTRT, $2 super chat. Stop acting, stop acting like all AAVE is fucking gold because it isn't. Like dabbing and shit. Like that's a, that's a dance that originated with black folks. Like it's just you putting your fucking arm in your elbow. You're basically sneezing into your elbow, but like really flamboyantly. <laughs> and it's fucking, like black or white, it's fucking embarrassing. I remember uh, Luke Cage did it. And I was in season two. I was like, oh no, <laughs> this is not the way. Uh, um, LTR T2 dollar super chat. But why should we care what that guy said? Well, because he has a yellow shirt on and his hair is like really like not masculine. So yeah, we should definitely listen to what he has to say. Yas, yas, slay queen, yas. See how annoying that is? And like I said, some slang just gets old. It just fucking gets old because it does. That's what happens. Nobody says cray anymore. You know why? Because it sounds fucking dumb. It got old quick. 
cray cray because it's fucking it's silly a uh, tom finton five dollar super chat what the fuck compelled this lunatic to hire this coffee shop looking genghis khan wasabi want to be damned roasted that motherfucker um to play sun uh sun Tzu quotes out of his ass god rest your soul girl shit tom finton got his ass and thank you for the super the super chat uh, Goat Art Bazaar, $5 Super Chat. Colored only gifts. They ride in the back. Yas Slay Queen Slay. Oh my god. Well, no, let me read that again. Colored only gifts. They ride in the back. Yas, yas Slay Queen Slay. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, Russian bot. Russian bot. Russian bot. Lounge. four ninety nine dollars Super Chat. Oh my god. She's just a black hipster. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yes. Already <laughs> on banishing the language from our lexicon. Which no, it just shit gets old, and people want to replace it with new shit. That's what it is. That's what should. Be, that's what happens when something becomes popular. Sometimes it becomes a it becomes a fad, and then people like want to move on to something else. Yeah. Yes. Stop thinking that all black black english or slang is fucking is a fucking banger because it ain't it's not it's not it's not at all you will hear a diamond cat too dollars super chat this bit is cray cray i can't even dab to this which has to be one of white supremacy's many unrecognized seats and speak to the disposability of non-white slash non-cis queer pocs and oh my gosh shut the fuck up <laughs> black women in general because this i can see why you're depressed all the time I can see why. Jesus Christ. The work that takes being you. The work that you need to put in. Language and its slang wasn't yours to begin with. You took it. Didn't nobody take it. You happen to live in the Western world. So whatever's popularized in the Western world is spread around the Western world and everyone in the Western world fucking uses it. And it ain't even just that. It's not even just there either. It's everywhere. But mostly, but that's but the Western world is what we're fucking talking about. So that's what we're gonna where we're gonna stay. But whatever's popularized here, guess fucking what? That's what people are gonna talk about. That's what people are gonna use. People are gonna popularize it. People are gonna put up on a pedestal. It's like something if it's popular, that's what's gonna happen. Stop acting like this fucking surprises you, and stop framing it as a fucking nev negative because it isn't. Ugh. <laughs> Wolf Spain, five dollars super chat. Who says half? Who says half the slang from the eighties and nineties and two thousands? Hell no. I mean, I'm <laughs> hell. Who says? Who uses half the slang from the past five years? Like, man, nobody. Like, I, I'll hear someone say some slang from just a couple years ago. And people would be like, "You still say that shit? Like, it's just from a couple years ago." Fuck. Relax. Because shit gets old really fucking quick. Um, Justin Law uh, Lawliots. Uh, hi, AJ Longbone. Hello. Nitpick, $2 super chat, my Google survey money. <laughs> no one says crunk anymore. Yeah, it's another one. I mean, well, I've heard little sprinkles of it um, over time in recent years. But yeah, people don't really say it anymore. Uh, Mia, uh, J J8K3G, $2 super chat. Jay, please Google American dialects. Save is there. Why I should? Because we're just talking about this one. I'm thinking about the cringe. If it's to help me better understand her point of view, look, I already understand her point of view, and I've heard it ad nauseum. I get it already. <laughs> Didn't use it correctly, and then got sick of it, and decided that because it doesn't fit into or didn't come from white standard English. No, that's not why. You fucking retard. People don't use it anymore because that's what happens to old language. You know how people don't say corkin? Oh, that's really corkin. Or say, oh, that's jive. Like, people don't say it, it's that shit anymore because it's old as fuck. Language is always e uh, evolving and updating. It's got nothing to do. Oh, oh, so you know what? I'm white and this isn't white language. I mean, I thought it was cool at first, but now my whiteness kicked in and now I don't think it's good. So now I'm going to stop saying it. That makes sense. Make total, so total sense. Total sense. It makes sense. It has no. Look, she's got a fucking radiator in her room. 
with Christmas lights and fucking f and ficus plants. She is correct. <laughs> Side note, I talked about this a bit in my cancel culture video, uh, mentioning where cancel culture came from and the, the actual term canceled and how so many people are sick of that term now, but it's from New Jack City and love and hip hop New York and black, <laughs> black Twitter, like, Anyway, check it out if you want to, if you have the time and mental space. This video is gonna be seven million years long, so good luck. I finally just wanna say that I may be sounding dramatic relating black. Like people are like, you hear people talk uh, talk about how they don't like, just, they don't like to hear about cancel culture anymore because not because it's from black English. It's because there are a lot of people like yourself who don't like, who don't like being called out for like canceling people over bullshit, that's why. That's why people don't want to fucking hear it anymore. You might want to talk to your own camp about that shit. <laughs> Imagine English as a direct- A cancel culture doesn't exist because I said so, because I, you know, that guy I got fired from Starbucks for spelling my Hebrew name wrong. Um, <laughs> like that, like, yeah, cancel culture doesn't exist. Bye. A uh, Russian guy, uh, 40, 40 rubles. Wow, that's rad. Sigh. see what I did there? <laughs> I know, like some corny ass white people say rad though. I've heard that around recently. Yeah, jive turkey, cowabunga. No one says this shit anymore because language is always fucking updating. Uh, LTRT, uh, five dollar super chat. She's right. I hate New York. I would nuke. I would nuke if I didn't live in New Jersey. Uh, Veritas G, New Jack City. If you didn't see that movie, watch it and. That other one with Ice-T uh, where this treasure stashed in the rundown ghetto building. I've seen New Jack City. That's one of my favorite movies. Trespass, I don't think... I've, I've heard of it, but I don't, think, I don't remember seeing it. Might have to see that one. But yeah, New Jack City. Is, oh, come on. That's a staple in our house. Fuck that. Definitely seen that. And yeah, I think I remember um, Nino Brown saying cancel. Like, cancel that bitch. I'll buy another one. <laughs> Yeah, it's when um, he was having one of his many arguments with his um, with his lawyer girlfriend. She did like she was doing like uh, the Diane Keaton and Godfather thing, where she's like, "You murdered people, and I'm out of this bitch." <laughs> and then she was like, "Cancel that bitch! I'll buy another one." <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's continue. Lineage of blackface minstrelsy. But white supremacy, you ain't gonna gaslight me no more. That was an example of using double negatives to reinforce each other. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> this performance of AAVE on the internet and its eerily reminiscent vibe of minstrel shows isn't just problematic because white performers were misusing the language they heard. It's the fact that at the inception of blackface minstrelsy, black people weren't seen as people. We were seen as property. So anything black people owned, including the words that came out of their mouths, didn't even belong to them. They, in every meaning of the word, belonged to white people. And white folks could and did do whatever they wanted with anything black people tried to create for themselves. Yeah, slavery is just the same as today, guys. It's the same shit. Yeah, like a white person saying turnt on Twitter is the same as white is a white person, I don't know, like snatching a book out of a black person's hand during slavery times and beating them to death. Uh yeah, same thing. Same thing, guys. Same thing, same thing, same thing. I was same time, man. <laughs> and then made money off of it. So I've spent seven different ways to Sunday in this video essay talking about how digital blackface contributes to the commodification of blackness. But I wanna really spell that out. And I thought you already like touched on that. Like, damn, are we still, t are you still talking? Uh, Eric Dennis, 499 Super Chat. She knew that, uh, she knew what the fuck Nino was about then tried to switch up because he was cheating. <laughs> Shaking my head. Explain that concept through something called the culture industry. But first let's explain oh, what a commodity no, is because I find when you hear these words over and over again, their meanings start to lose value. A commodity is a raw material or mass produced unspecialized product. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. A commodity is a thing. And these things produced on a mass scale for all to consume find new ways of infecting our psyches when technology is involved, which is all the time now. 
In Theodore Adorno and Max Horkheimer's book, Dialectic of Enlightenment, <sighs> I hate academics, they coined the term culture industry, which explains how commercial producers of mass culture use technology to justify the production of consumer products for culture and leisure, which infects everything with sameness. Now in English, that means that the lizard elites sell us products on a mass scale and use technology to justify the selling of these products under the guise of societal enjoyment and advancement for all. Or oh my God, like they fucking did it like a KFC sponsorship in uh, Stranger Things. That means black people are come on. Come on. <laughs> are you seeing these things? Scape go two dollars super chat for themselves, and that's where you lost it. Wait, wait, wait. Who's uh, um? Winterfire said, "Oh damn, she got a dictionary. Look out!" <laughs> or at least on an individual level, mostly it's it's almost exclusively capitalism is almost exclusively about the individual. Arderno and Horkheimer go on to state that technology allows for wider and more intense blanketing of images and messages similar to advertising and propaganda. I'm pretty sure she's about to fucking compare a bucket of KFC chicken to a fucking black person and I find it hilarious. <laughs> that's that's beautiful in my opinion. It's just so poetic. So this infection <laughs> of sameness shows up through our social media platforms and advertising and propaganda indoctrinate us further, making us believe that we need to have X thing or look X way to enjoy life slash advance ourselves within the culture, then that becomes our only goal. Going further with that though, having media producers constantly push- Oh wait, so you're saying capitalism commod <laughs> commodifies, uh, commoditizes, yeah, I forgot how the fuck to say that. Uh, black people? Oh no. Pushing out goods through technology that makes its consumers believe they have- I, I see what- what's his name? I forgot who the fuck pointed- pointed this out to me. Uh, when he said about, uh, he said, uh, there's- in this video there's commie shit. Have to have <laughs> X thing to feel fulfilled, and consumers blindly taking those products in without thought of consequence creates, as Aaron Wong says, a cycle of production and consumption that easily allows for toxic messaging to flourish among consumers because they become obsessed with the latest products without realizing how unethical or harmful those products may be. Or are you saying uh, African American vernacular English or whatever is toxic and white people shouldn't be uh, using it because it's harmful to them? Like what are you saying? What, what's she about to fucking say? I don't get it. Bogged in the lurker, fight all the super chat. Is it me or is there a trend with all these left wing extremists to indulge in purple prose to make themselves seem smart? Oh yeah, definitely. Frank and Furter, two dollars super chat. I hope the uh, she stretches before she reached for the reach she gonna make. In the case of digital blackface, how harmful or unethical the constant stereotyping and racialized animation of black people and our emotions might be. Uh, oh. stop using real black people as a fucking example. Because you make, you just, your, your self-hatred is just flourishing. Yeah, Cassandra, I said what's good, third period. What's your name? Well, my name is Tasha, but everybody be calling me Tasha. All of these factors contribute to a- Tom Finton, $5 super jet. I think she is about to ramble on about how capitalism as opposed to corporatism. <clears throat> fueled by a uh, vocal minority produces products that pander because racism. Yeah, because black people thinking that they own a certain language and how it's pandered to them th uh, from other black people, that's not anything like that. It's just when it's uh, pandered to white people. Establishing a prime environment for blackface to thrive. According to scholar Kevin Brin, this cult of course it's a white guy, of course! Of course you take your fucking racial cues from a white guy, of course you do. Culture industry <laughs> also thrives by selling back to the public its own worst feelings and desires. In the context of digital blackface, our own worst feelings and desires are rooted in a white supremacist value system. Because the- What? So our white supre supremacist value system is, uh, is black English and black dress and shit? What? Internet is a digital reflection of the systems of oppression that exist in the real world. 
because human beings why did she flash a fucking picture of neo from the matrix what the fuck using it. in these gifts and memes black people are not people they're <laughs> what so the people in these gifts she's this bitch <laughs> oh so the people in these gifts are suddenly not people according to this bitch these people in these gifts and memes are not people aren't they <laughs> <laughs> really? Human beings are using it. In these gifts and memes, black people are not people. They're performers. And if- Be Yes! Yes! Yeah, like the guy from the unsinkable Kimmy Schmidt, whatever the show. I know I'm saying it wrong. But yeah, he's a fucking performer. He performs in the show. Yes, bitch. <laughs> are you fucking retarded? What the fuck? But even if they are performers, they're still people. They can be both at the same goddamn time. <laughs> Someone fucking explain this shit to me. Mothradon, a hundred rubles. Ugh, this isn't no good with people. Um, this isn't no good with uh, people looking for stuff to steal. It's just capitalism. Everything can be made into a product, including language. Um, the Russian dude, 200 rubles. Uh, Bogdan, at Bogdan the Lurker posted it before me, but dear God, this, oh, she, God damn it. But dear God, this video is such a quagmire of buzzwords and highfalutin lingo. My brain cells suffer. I admire your resilience, Jay Longbone. Don't admire me. <laughs> I'm a sucker for pain. I'm just a sucker for pain. Yeah, actors and performers, guys, they're not people. <laughs> they're not people anymore if they're black, you know? <laughs> if they're black, they're not people. Oh, my God. Now y'all start to see it, right? Like the self-hatred. You're seeing it, right? You understand, right? Uh, uh, Logician V, $5 Super Chat. Uh, hey, hey, dollar store apartment chick. Stop shooting yourself in the foot. Oh, she's got a shotgun. <laughs> Oh my god. Ja oh, Jasmine uh, Tiuch? Oh my god, I'm probably... Oh no, I'm butchering that shit. Flashback to when she mocked Pam Greer. <laughs> oh god, Jesus. Oh, this, is, this is harsh. This is hard to watch. If that performance is entertaining to white folks, it's then taken in by them. Hang on. And if these gifts and memes, black people are not people. They're performers. And if... <laughs> black people are not people they're performers no performers can't be people don't fucking tell me that you racist white supremacist <laughs> imagine hating yourself this much i can't i can't i could i can't imagine it i can't oh oh if that performance is entertaining to white folks it's then taken in by them hang on let me and if that performance is entertaining to white folks it's then taken in by them. Yeah, so if a white person enjoys the performance or like the like the performance, the um the presence of a black person who is very charismatic and very popular and very um either learned or entertaining or uh just um or just talented in general. That that black person is automatically a coon, and that white person is a white supremacist. Done. <laughs> like it, it's it, it it's as said by Khadija. <laughs> so if white people start liking something that's inherent that's black, that automatically makes that black thing come like basically just a big old pile of coonery. <laughs> so you're letting white people determine what's What's what now? Is that what we doing around here? Black entertainers aren't entertainers as soon as white people start embracing them. Is that what that is? That's what this is now? Like I said, this is that self-hatred, baby. It's coming out. It's jumped out. It's jumping out. <laughs> Phantom Spaceman, imitation, something, something flattery. Yeah, that quote, um, like imitation is the, uh, the highest form of flattery. I think that's how that goes. Stinging cake. How dare people share and appreciate culture? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. 
like black folks who entertain and who are liked by white people. They're just big old coons. That's all they are. But she's not, she, she's too bitch made to fucking say that out loud. So like I said, she, she doesn't know how to fix her internalized racism. So she's just like, but she's not going to, but she's not going to come out and say that, oh yeah, black people who were liked by other white people, just big old coons. <laughs> So she'll just say, no, it's the white people who are the problem. And they're, therefore, like, yeah, my job, I, I fix racism. It's all done. I'm, I've done my job. Nitpick, $5 super chat. So is moonwalking cultural, cultural appropriation now? Oh, art. Oh my God. Arc. I can't stand pronouncing people's names. Arc. Articus, Articus, Ar oh my God, Articus Frost, sincerest form of flattery. Okay, yeah, thank you for that. I know I was, I know I was getting some of it wrong. Uh, XX Slaughter 3D XX 499 Super Chat. The worst sin a, a YouTuber could commit: genuinely enjoying and participating in something. Or no, sorry, a white. <laughs> I thought I said YouTuber. A white could commit genuinely enjoying and participating in something. How dare they? Yeah. I think, uh, Ice Goddess Rukia saying good night. Good night. And circulated as their own invention. It's not circulated as their own fucking invention. Like fucking stop. Deracialize. Like, do you think if someone were to do the Charleston, on TikTok. Do you really think people would think that person invented that shit? No. <laughs> but you know, the Charleston, that's a white thing and we don't, uh, we don't talk about those things. Decontextualized for all to mindlessly enjoy without consideration of the effects or understanding of its origins. People know where the fuck it comes from. But like I said, like I said, this is America. Whatever's popular popularized in America is part of American culture. If you don't like being part of this fucking country, fucking leave. Oh, that's right. You're from Canada. Right. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're from fucking Canada. You ain't got no say in this shit. Though, like, this shit is used everywhere. But, like, I'm saying, like, she wants to keep it Western. So I'm gonna keep it Western. She wants to keep it, like, more. Because it's... Well she, well, she is part of the West. Like, she is from Canada. But, like, this is a part... Wherever... It's made popular. It's gonna be like it's gonna be used by other people. You gotta fucking accept that. Oh no, we made something mainstream. Now the white people are using it. How do we stop the white people from using it? What? That's oh that's the curse of being becoming mainstream and popular. Is that the dreaded whites are going to eventually like you? <laughs> I I've never heard it. What the fuck is this phenomenon where? Woke black people hate being popular. <laughs> I want to be a success, but I don't want to be a fucking success. We're at the point where white people are liking me. Like, ew. <laughs> what the fuck? The fuck? Oh my God, get over yourself. But we'll talk about white plagiarism another time. In the digital black sphere, under a culture industry, blackness itself becomes a commodity removed from its original source and redistributed as an object for everyone to pass. But we know all know where twerking and shit comes from. We know where it comes from. And when Miley Cyrus was twerking, we all hated that shit. We all did. Everybody did. Round like cards. All right. Not because it was genuinely, not because twerking is a black thing. It's because twerking and you know, just, eh. It's kind of trashy, let's be honest. It is. It's a it's a sexy dance. And plus when Miley Cyrus did it, she she fucked it up. She she didn't do it justice. She's got no ass. She's white trash fucking personified. So And a lot of people just see it as like a dance to get a guy's dick hard, like and that's it. <laughs> that's it. It's not because black people fucking use it. It's not because it's a black thing. It's because it's a, tr it's a trashy thing. Let's just, let's just be real about it. Our identities. You can do said trashy thing. Not saying you can't or you shouldn't, but let's, that's what it is. Like, fucking stop. Atomata, $5 super chat. Just glad this video properly exposed all the people scared of xenomorphs without getting to know the individual for the races they are. 
are stereotyped, mocked, and circulated through social media, further perpetuating white supremacy and contributing to the sameness of our modern internet. Uh, like, and keep in mind when she, when she said in the beginning, uh, look, look, this isn't really that serious. I'm just trying to, to show you from a, another something from another perspective. But now it's like white supremacy, white supremacy, blah, 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 capitalist white supremacy, blah, 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 blah. Which is it? Which fucking is it? Is it something that we should just, oh, we just need to consider like another viewpoint. But, they, but like, if you do any of this shit, you're upholding white supremacy. <laughs> Which is it? Which fucking is it? But like I said, they want it both ways. No, I'm totally cool, a cool, chill person, guys. I'm cool. I'm fine. But you're upholding white supremacy every fucking time you say turnt. I, I am not fucking playing with you. <laughs> that culture. Y'all, when I wrote that, I was like, bitch, are you a scholar? <laughs> Oh God, that is so fucking cringe. <laughs> oh. I just want to hide myself right quick. This that, that was embarrassing. Patting yourself on the back for a word. To, just because you can put multiple big words together in a sentence doesn't mean that sentence makes sense. Or has any weight at all. Just an FYI. <laughs> God, I hate this. <laughs> Hello. So I've been seeing this question a lot on social media, and I think it's really relevant. What would America be like if we love- Guys, we have five more minutes left. Well, four more minutes left. So it'll be over soon. Keep, keep hope alive. <laughs> oh, isn't that that Rue bitch? That bitch from, uh, from, uh, what was it? What was the movie? Um... Uh, Hunger Games? Oh, I can't stand her. She's annoying as hell. Mr. Low Tier Trash, $5 Super Chat. You think she would apply the same logic when other races participate in black culture? Probably not. No, no, they're the non-blacks. Of course, she's not going to fucking specify them because they don't matter. It's just black versus white. Because if we use them as an example, then the fucking narrative kind of breaks apart and she'll have to fucking uh, admit that, oh, wait, wait. This is just popular culture. And that's why people, like an assorted array of races use it. Oh, wow. But now she has to make it a white versus black thing. Otherwise the narrative, like I said, doesn't work. Loved black people as much as we love black culture. Oh, oh Lord. So what have we learned today? I got a hot take type metaphor thing for y'all. The screens that you're using to type these misuse phrases and slang words and pop in all these memes and gifs in are the burnt cork and grease of the 21st century. No, they're not. You are a self-hating black woman who sees any fucking, any exaggerated expression from a black person being used on the internet as some slight against your uppity, upper crust, non-American black ass. <laughs> You're ashamed of this shit. And then you pass it off on white people like it's their racism perpetuating it. Instead of you, like I've said this already, but like instead of you exploring your internalized racism, that's what the fuck it is. Tom Fenton, $2 super chat. I mean, communists do tend to be closeted racists. <laughs> yeah, they do. Like you want to talk, oh, well, yeah, this is like the uppity black person who thinks she's better than everyone else. But she's not, she's too afraid to fucking admit that. So it's like, oh, no, this is just white people. White people, white, 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 white supremacy, white racism. Yes, that's what it is. That's what it is. That's all it is. They shouldn't use these gifts because we hold, we hold these we hold these gifts to be like hollowed talismans of the black community <laughs> when in when in reality like in the same video you said like performers black performers are not people you fucking said that <laughs> you said that shit uh ken chilado five dollar super chat i don't think khadija is saying white people can't participate in trends but the fact that they get credit exposure money from black creators that's not what she's saying at all that's a part of what she's saying but she's like, it's that, see, you're falling for that language that SJWs try to, uh, that, that SJWs use. Like, I'm not saying it's bad, but it's bad. But you just look at the positive part of what she's saying. I'm not saying it's bad for you to do it, but then she goes on to say exactly why it's bad for you to do it. 
but people only want to see her as being an edu as a positive educator when she's not. She's a fucking racist. Oh, and she oh, <laughs> She's not saying they can't use it. What? Then why the fuck is it, does this video exist? If she's not saying they can't use it, why? But the shit's still it's still tied in white supremacy. It's still tied in in commodifying black bodies and shit. It's still that, but she's not saying you can't use it. Does that make sense to you? It doesn't make any fucking sense. If it's all right for me to do the shit, I don't want to hear a fucking, I don't want to hear a fucking 20 page essay about why it's bad to use. All right, keep your fucking mouth shut. If it's not bad, to, if we're not saying she can, you're not saying you can't do it. No, she, yes, she is. Otherwise this video wouldn't exist. The rest of this video would not, this whole 40 minutes would not exist. Like that's the SJW month. I'm not saying it's harmful, but it's harmful and you should stop doing it. <laughs> Just because someone says something in a really charismatic, nice voice does not mean what they're saying to you is a good thing. Fuck! <laughs> it annoys me when people fall for this shit. It annoys me so fucking much. <gasps> uh, war, uh, what shit? Cold war mech? Denying someone the use, uh, usage of a word because of their race. You're the one who's racist. Yeah. Sunny BA people that let uh, people let that slide way too much. Yeah, Wolf Spain two dollars super chat. What have we learned? Absolutely nothing. Oh my god, my throat hurts. Oh, that's a good point, Danny Nightblade forty five. Uh, whites making money off black culture. How about blacks making money off race swapping popular white characters? Eh, that's a point there. No one's, well, some people are still putting on blackface, but none of y'all necessarily are putting on blackface, but you're using Imagine Black English and memes and gifts of black people to express yourself. And I'm not here to say what your intentions are or that any of this is Yes, you are, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm not saying what your intentions are, um, but you just said this shit holds up white supremacy. What the fuck? I'm a fucking angry now. I'm really fucking angry. That fucking, this condescending bullshit. I'm not saying what your intentions are. They always fucking, all right, for, like they start off the video like, I'm not gonna say this. And then they go to start on to say it. And then they end the video with, I didn't say that. <laughs> to say that oh my god my fucking throat hurts yeah ray mercy uh mercier i think i'm sorry if i'm mispronouncing that you're not a terrible person but yeah that's basically oh god is even malicious. I'm just saying that it's important to be mindful of the fact that you can scream Black Lives Matter in one minute and perform blackness on your socials the next. And it's the- Oh my God, yeah, why would I defend uh, black people and then be fascinated and en enriched by their culture at the same time? Why would the fuck would I do want to do that? Why would I do that? I wonder fucking why. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Um, uh, Casper, Casper, uh, so Sobanowski. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, 10 PLN. My head hurts. Yeah, my throat hurts. My head hurts. Everything fucking hurts right now. Oh God. Oh really? <laughs> the lesson. Be aware, guys. Oh yeah, I remember that. That whole shtick from that la from that video I did. <laughs> Be aware. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm hurting. I'm really hurting right now. Oh, Russian dude, uh, 100 rubles. Why should I stop my kid from saying ambulance <laughs> or sandwich? Saw this clip in some random YouTube video. Is this the crux of her problem? Oh, 
Oh, let me just, let's just finish it. We got four minutes, no, no, less than four minutes. Let's go. The performance of that blackness, however harmless, that should be considered with more mindfulness, particularly when you do- If it's harmless, why do I have to come, like, be mindful of it? If it's harmless, you cannot say, you, this is double think. It's harmless, but it's not harmless. We, no, it's, it, it's fucking harmless and you know it. You fucking know that. Don't, don't pass off your fucking inner hatred on me, bitch. <laughs> don't live And of course you got, and of course, from what I hear, you got nothing but a, a, a fucking troop of white people agreeing with you. That pro-blackness really, really spoke to your people. So much that you only got white people agreeing with you. <laughs> oh. Just like that fucking bitch, uh, that black chick from Black Lives Matter who was all about the black folks until she got some, until she scammed some money out of them and then, and then moved to a fucking neighborhood with no black people. Not, not a one. Bought a big ass, I don't think it was a mansion, but it was like this big ass expensive house in a rich white neighborhood, nowhere near her people. Good for you. Stand up for black people when the white people are the only ones who are buying your bullshit. And black skin. That and just should like be a hint. performers would remove their makeup after a performance and go back to the luxury of their non-black existence, you too can turn off your screen or log off your social media and go back to the luxury of your own non-black existence. And I mean, blackness is not something you can own. I mean, y'all tried and... You can't own it either, bitch. Because once you make it popular, it's not strictly yours anymore. Like, sorry, but that's the way it is. Like, people will know it came from you, definitely. But, like, once you spread it around, it's like, eh. Because it's, it's America. It's a melting pot. Now, if we talk in, like, Asian culture and shit, like, yeah, there's no way you can just, like, adopt that. <laughs> you can't just uh, fucking adopt that. Because that's from a different fucking country. But you live in the same fucking country. And if this shit was made in this country, then yeah, everyone from the same country is going to use it. Or that same region, like in the Western world, are going to use it. That's just the way it is. That's how popular culture works. That's why they call it pop culture, because it's popular culture. Since slavery has ended, it seems like white supremacy needs to own black bodies in some way, shape, or form. Black and why are you fucking refer to black people as black bodies? You only refer to people like that if they're fucking dead. Why would you say that's so fucked up? Black bodies. I'm alive, bitch. I have a pulse. No cop has shot me yet. <laughs> Black bodies swinging. <laughs> Man. Oh my God, shut up. Slash just be entitled to everything black people create for themselves. Because, you know, systems of oppression like white supremacy and patriarchy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wolf Spain was like, that BLM grifter bought four houses. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, I think I'll, where is it? Oh, wait, there it is. That BLM grif grifter who bought four houses, by the way, one in Georgia, one in the Bahamas, and two in Cali. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> And she don't live nowhere near black people. <laughs> well, except from the Bahamas. But, you know, that, does that really count? It doesn't. Because that's the Bahamas. <laughs> oh, Christ. Ugh. Patriarchy tell you, take it! You own everything! Everything is yours! In all honesty, when I was writing this essay, I got nervous because I didn't want it to seem like I was coming on here trying to tell everyone, now you can't use memes and gifts. Man. Well, you did. So, when you say something, like, like, when you say shit like, oh, I want to go eat this cake. Tom, wait, Tom Fenton, $2 super chat. She legit looks like that Uncle Tom from Django. <laughs> Oh, that's just evil. <laughs> but yeah, it's like like someone who secretly wants this cake, right? But you also want this cake. And they tell you, oh, you can have it, but, you know, it kind of has rat poison in it, so. 
But you can still eat it, though. Because they're trying to keep you away from it. They're trying to keep you away from it, but, like, pretend like, oh, I'm not trying to tell you not to. I'm just, just saying, like, someone might have put something on it. Someone, somebody might have sneezed on it. I don't know. Maybe the frosting isn't to your liking. I don't, I don't know. I'm not telling you not to eat. I'm not telling you not. I'm not telling you to stay away from it. Though. I'm not telling you not to eat it. But you know, I'm just saying. Like, no, motherfucker, you are telling me not to go near it. Why the hell would you have to sell it as something horrible if you don't want me? If you want me to stay away from it, fucking stop it. Knock it off with the passive aggressive bullshit. Um, undead ballerina calling people bodies is fucking creepy. Yeah, it is. Um, like it's a lot of wokies lo love to be like more poetic with shit. Like instead of rest in peace, they say rest in power. Instead of saying black people, they say black bodies, which is so fucking like what? <laughs> See, it's more dramatic. <laughs> it's more dramatic. If you call them black bodies, it brings out. <laughs> it's more dramatic. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Man, man, man. Like, because that's not what I'm saying. It is what you're saying. Don't take something that's rooted in white supremacy or that it upholds white supremacy or that it commodifies black people and turns them into things. Don't say shit like that. If you don't want, if you want us to continue using it blissfully, like, you know, to our, to our leisure, okay? Shut the fuck up. Stop it with that bullshit. Like you, you talk like a fucking little, you act like a fucking manipulative little girl right now. I'm not saying that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Yeah, you said that. You def definitely said that. <laughs> not even a little bit. I'm just wanting y'all and myself included to think about the larger implications of the things that we mindlessly consume and participate in. Like you can use memes. Using memes and gifts and shit is mindless in itself. So... Just because black people are happen to be featured in it doesn't make it any less mindless. Sorry. You're not special, sweetie. I mean, you don't even really think yourself as special anyway. You have internalized racism anyway. So, uh, no matter how much you try to tell yourself uh, to stave off the depression and self-hate, you're not special. <laughs> you're not special. ...of black people to express how you're feeling and have some fun and, you know, sure, but... Consider if you're also advocating for black lives off the internet. You can partake in your TikTok dances and stand Twitter language, but also contemplate where this culture that you love so much comes from. They know where it comes from, bitch. They know. It's because someone, oh my God. Charlie D'Amelio got popular doing stupid dances. That means she's stealing from black people. No. <laughs> Tom Finton, $2 super chat. What the fuck did they spike her McDonald's Sprite with? <laughs> uh, excuse me, I have no idea. Remember that there are real people behind the fads we all participate in. And most times if a black person is the source of that fad, they don't get to reap the rewards of that tick. Oh, really? Really? Uh, you mean like, uh, who's, who, what's that guy? The, uh, oh my god, the guy. What the fuck is his name? They, we don't get to reap the rewards of the gifts we're in. Oh, you mean like Oprah, the fucking billionaire? <laughs> the show that she already made her money on and someone gift? You mean that? Oh, the guy from the unsinkable Kimmy Schmidt, the money he already made from the show that has already since been gift? You mean that? <laughs> you mean the popularity he got from that? that he already had? Shit! <laughs> oh, you or do you mean uh, like uh, Mariah Carey being gifted the music videos from the '90s that she already got her money on? You mean that? What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> or how about the, like this, the athletes who are being gifted who already made their money on, like on uh, uh, who already made their money at the fucking matches that they play? You mean those motherfuckers? They don't benefit off nothing. No one benefits off these games. Yeah, usually no one benefits from memes. No, usually nobody, unless they're smart enough to get some, uh, some patents, maybe some, uh, like you know, and and get some, so they can get some money off that shit. If you're smart enough, and it, but if you're not, guess what? You're not gonna get any money off that shit. 
But yeah, these gifts of these entertainers, like the entertainers who already made money off the entertainment that they provided from those, like, that they provided that spawned those gifts, they do fucking, yeah, they, they already benefited off it. They already did. It's done. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Goat Art Bazaar, $2 Super Chat. I'm glad I'm not woke, so I'll use my Carlton dances. Uh, Bogdan the Lurker, $5 Super Chat. I'm not saying you're racist if you use these memes or jokes, but I will heavily imply... I will heavily imply it because I think you are, and I'm afraid of being honest. <laughs> yeah, please don't hate me, please! I already hate myself! <laughs> I'm always- I'm, I'm perpetually depressed, I can't fucking sleep at night, and I already have self-hatred, like, I already have some kind of racist self-hatred, please don't hate me! <laughs> uh, Mike Testa, 199, 199 Super Chat, it's funny because actual Africans laugh at her. And that's the funny thing. Her parents are fucking African. Oh, I wonder what... I, I, who knows? That's probably where that self-hatred came from. It probably talks a lot of shit about American blacks or like Western blacks and that shit... Who knows? The shit probably rubbed off on her. I don't know. Talk. With all this research on digital blackface, it had me considering a lot of stuff that I hadn't even thought about, even as a black woman. So I'm never trying to come on here like judging y'all or <laughs> ridiculing. <laughs> okay. People who say I don't judge are the most judgmental motherfuckers you will ever see. Most, most judgmental motherfuckers. I don't judge. Like, yeah, you do. It's Judging people is a human fucking thing. We do it every day. We do it all the fucking time. It's natural. It's ha it's a it's also and it's also a defense mechanism for us. It helps us choose the right mate, the right friends, and all kinds of other shit. We judge all the fucking time, and it's fine, and it's just fucking fine. So the people who say I don't judge, you're full of fucking shit, and I don't trust your ass. Anyone for the things that you do or participate in. My goal and hope with this video and this channel in general is that, you know, it can be a place or space where people can come and learn and reflect and consider- a I didn't learn shit, so eh, reflection. I already reflected, still shit. <laughs> perspective that they maybe haven't heard before. I probably said this at the beginning of the video, but I just like I've to- heard this I've heard this perspective three years ago and it's still shit. Reiterate it because I talk too much. I want to provide history and context at what I think is an introductory level and, you know, ask myself and anyone who watches my videos to look deeper at things, at all the things we consume and how we participate in the world. We need to look deep at things. When I look at the hot dog I eat, I think, I need to look deeper at this. Is this hot dog anti-black? <laughs> is this hot dog anti-black? It is very long, which is very, um indicative of the mandi of the mandingo penis the mandingo penis is very long very w very very thick i mean this hot dog is very thick but it's still very reminiscent of the mandingo penis and that is very racist so i'm thinking if i put it in my mouth am i upholding white supremacy is that is that what's happening right now mother <laughs> 100 rubles um twitter once told me that having a pet was racist because white people just miss owning slaves Oh my God. And passed it as an unpopular opinion. Beware. But anyway, the mandingo penis may not be, um, the hot dog itself may not be indicative of the mandingo penis, but the foot long hot dog is now. And thinking about how the hot dog is just a piece of meat, like how black men were treated as pieces of meat by the white female slave owners. This is something we need to think about on a contextual level. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. I can't, I can't keep going. That's it. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I can't keep doing this shit. <laughs> world so yeah thank you so so much for making it to the end of this if you did um if you did comment below and put like figure out a way to put the word teacup into uh your comment so that i know you watched it i also just really want to apologize for being so inconsistent lately october and november were really rough months for me and i'm sure they were you know <laughs> mental health is real and i just <laughs> i needed to just sort myself out i still managed to do the patriarchy video but I, it was it was hard to get that one out. I'm not gonna lie, but I yeah, because it's fucking depressing, and you're 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 fucking bringing yourself down. 
you're you're stressing yourself out, yourself out so much you can't make a fucking video. Like hello. Uh Cold Warmeck 499 super chat. We could spam her with the gif next to her on Twitter. <laughs> don't do it. No. Don't go on don't go fucking with her, please. For the love of God. <laughs> That'll just be just what she wants. Uh, Gail Ortiz, $5 super chat. I talk too much. The only truthful statement to come out of her mouth all day. Um, the Russian dude, uh, 200 rubles. I ain't saying y'all fully guilty. I'm saying y'all have varying degrees of guilt in pe- perpetuating shit I talk about. I am exempt of that my <laughs> that myself, though. My final thoughts on her. True. Oh, Cactus Rossi was like, is like, you forgot about the battle of the banana versus the hot dog. <laughs> hmm. I'm very excited. I've been planning out some stuff. Oh, yeah. What, what's her name said? Um, sh- uh, Sheeply Waltz. Keep the bullying in here. Exactly. Keep it in here. Don't go to her channel. I mean, if you want to, like, contest what she says politely and kindly, fine. But don't go in there talking about, oh, <laughs> Coon. <laughs> don't go doing that. <laughs> oh, oh god, don't go doing that shit. Don't go don't be mean. Don't do that. Off for the new year. Besides, we were mean enough here. We were mean enough. I'm really excited for the videos that I'm getting ready for for January and February. And yeah, <laughs> so not. you know. If you haven't already, subscribe, like! Hell no! You know if you feel At least she ain't those the one well in action I think she did. I think she did say subscribe in the beginning of her video. I think she did, and I just forgot about it. Yep, she did. I see it. Oh, yeah. So she is one of those people who says subscribe at the beginning of the video. Well, if the spirit moves you, do it. If not, I don't maybe give not. a damn. I don't give a damn if it does help the algorithm or get you more subscribers. I will never do that shit. That's just so fucking desperate. Next time, but you know, give me some love. Give me some comments either way, and let me know what you thought. Let me know if you learned any. I I, I won't give you any love, and I don't think anyone ever will for the rest of your life. <laughs> Anything, or if you have anything to teach me, I love that. I always love that. Feed your pets, water your plants, put lotion on. If the person you like is not texting you back, you don't. All right, I'm done. I'm done. She's just babbling now. Shut the fuck up. She's just babbling. Okay. That guy says my pet was a great burn. Yeah, I'm. So- <laughs> Either that was Mr. N or Tom Fenton. It was one of them. But so, whoever the fuck called her mop head, thank you. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, yeah, that's it. I'm already like, I'm done. I'm fucking done, yo. Ooh, I'm done. My voice hurts. My jaw is a little, like, it's not as tight as it was before, but it's like, it's. Yeah, I'm done. Oh my God. This was, oof. <laughs> this was a fucking doozy. I hated this shit. Uh, with every fiber of my being excuse me yep that's enough thank you guys for tuning in to this garbage and hanging in there thank you for the super chats especially the c note and 50 dollars super chats and the 20 dollars all the super chats but like specifically like the 20 50 and 100 dollars super chats that was didn't expect that shit at all that was crazy but yeah thank you for like wasting your money on me <laughs> and like yeah, th- thank you for tuning in all the comments well wishes jokes the emojis like the the emoji army <laughs> that proceeded thank you um but yeah i gotta go is oof i'm done i'm tired i'm tired thank oh my god someone g- don't give me super chats when i'm in the stream <laughs> oh my god but I saw a super, where the fuck is it? Damn it. Tom Fenton, $2 super chat. Not Moped or Muppet. Either way, she's trash. <laughs> okay. All right, that's enough. There's enough super chats while well, I'm in the stream. Okay, bye, 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 bye. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving on that midnight train to Georgia. Get it on the midnight train. All right. Yeah, like I said, I'm